hello. Hello. It's Friday. It's wait, it's Friday? No. What stream is this? Breakfast. <laughs> I didn't turn on the switch, so we're just in a black void. <laughs> Man, a different vibe. It is a different vibe. With n with mm -hmm. nothing. Yeah, now we're in the. Where's that Lionel? What if? Did I hit update instead you of did. Why is that the default option? Because they want you to update. I, wa I, did, I wanted, to, wanted to not do that. Oh, whatever. Anyway. We got I, some time. It's fine. Hi, everybody. It's Friday. There it is. That's oh, pretty fast. Yeah, that was fast. The, the Switch updates, I, I guess, are pretty quick. When there's an update for, like, the PlayStation... Forget about it. Let's do some cooking for Fennel Windfall. Get this started off. What we got? Corn? Cook. It's not my favorite combination. Chocolate covered corn. Is it the whole cob? Chocolate covered corn and I don't care. Chocolate covered corn and I don't care. Chocolate covered corn and I don't care. Actually, I'm allergic, so I care. That was a thousand bits from Fennel Windfall. It doesn't matter what you cover it in. I still shouldn't eat corn. Very convincing horse sound. Uh, 38 months from Antihirosaura. 37 from a Lost Vagabond. We've got 300 bits from Antihirosaura. Says, can we clown this hype train before stream? Hype train's still going. Uh, just hit level 8. Good lord. Let's celebrate the arrival at the level 8 station by doing some cook-o for Zotto. <laughs> cook-o for <Zotto. laughs> <laughs> Coco Forzato! Mud crab legs, egg, and waffle. It's like chicken and waffles. Coco. Coco. <laughs> Lego, my egg. <laughs> That's very clever and has the same energy as Coco Forzato. And that's a good. I can't believe that that. Got that. That's great. Wonderful. Wonderful. Also. You could do crab legs on a waffle. I don't know if the egg should be there, but I, it's not impossible. They're in the waffle in the batter. <laughs> Zotto, I want the cocoa. <laughs> Zotto, thank you. Let's do some cooking for Slick Duke. Uh, coffee. coffee. Energy powder, egg, bacon. This has the same vibes as Lego My Ego. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. I'm planning on have. I'm planning on cooking some eggs and bacon tomorrow. So that's just a precursor to what I will be consuming. And you also. I hope so. Will be consuming tomorrow. Not very many people are in town, but but us and and Haley and Dan yeah are here, and I'm planning to make a little a little breakfast little breakfast yeah. for everybody tomorrow. Uh, Slick Duke, thank you. Um, we had 52 months at tier three. Subby from Link the Best. Link, thank you. Appreciate that. 31 months from Blaze. 15 months from Hawkeye Lee. Haley says, I mean, I didn't agree to come over. Yeah, really only Dan is confirmed. Okay. Let's do, uh, do some cooking for uh, Kirdalia. Ham. You need two things. Ham and a giant ancient core. <laughs> na, 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 oink. Na, 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 oink. Na, 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 na. You know what? I'm going to go over to Haley's. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you at all. Kirdelia, thank you. <laughs> 43 months from Madam Spectrum. 
Uh, 57 from Penguin Frog. And a little snack for us. From our Montana streams to your doorstep, Tiny Eddie's rumored dill jerky. It's rumored to be dill. It's just jerky, though. <laughs> this doesn't taste like dill at all. That's because it's just a rumor. We all know who started it, but you printed it on the packaging. Yeah, we liked the rumor. That was a thousand bits from Chugga Conroy. Says, hey, Eddie, I'm breeding Pokemon and need a snack for it. Also, you'd get 84 gift subs if you do the thing tonight. Good luck! Maybe it takes place in Gerudo! We're working towards it. I remember last time it, it does it involves the camera. I remember that because we because the there yeah. was a like a Pokemon snap hint. Yeah. I I don't know. We'll we'll probably figure we'll probably figure it out. We're both very smart. <laughs> We're both very <laughs> smart. <laughs> Twenty nine months from Bullfly. Eight months from Master Linkle, 23 from Screaming Salad Radishes, 32 from Kuro Risopachi. We got 300 bits from Trichianthia. That was not a Mills hint, but okay, good job, Team Smart. <laughs> We're doing great. <laughs> Trichianthia says, I know I asked for good vibes yesterday, but I have, but may I have good, more good vibes? Tonight is my first night back at my real retail job in five months, and I am not looking forward to it. Good vibes. Yeah. I hope that it goes smoothly. Super good vibes. Super good vibes for everyone working retail this month. Yeah, for sure. December is not the most fun month for retail. Let's do some cooking for Gamer Girl Life. Hylian rice, fresh milk, goat butter, cinnamon, cane sugar. Is this like a rice porridge, like a sweet rice porridge? Yeah. A rose corn leche. It, yeah, you're, cha, yes. cha, 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 yeah. How can you look at ingredients and just know? You should cook more. <sighs> I mean, that's not the things I normally cook, admittedly. So, Gamer Girl Life, thank you, and thank you for the movement. D. Bradwell says, was busy with Thanksgiving and football for the last two Zelda streams, but I'm here tonight. <laughs> take this. Bang. <laughs> it's more like, take this. Bullet Chaz. And Chaz is like, thank you. And. And bang. <laughs> yeah. Subby. Another subby. That was 58 months from Wombat Cause Why Not. It says, hope everyone is doing well. I got a funny story from work. Uh, kinder kid I'm teaching says, I'm going to write dog. Proceeds to write dog backwards, a.k.a. God. I mention how it now says God. Child. I eat gods. Incredible. I had a kindergartner tell me before Thanksgiving, when I taught elementary school, that she would miss me. Yeah. And if I could come to her house for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and you said... Um, maybe. <laughs> I also had a kindergartner do a drawing and say, this is my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Let's do some cooking for Link Mountaineer. Cucumber, cucumber, flour, water, salt, pi pickle? Pickle. 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 Cukes and batters? It's like a, a batter to fry the pickles. Cukes? Is that? A cucumber. Is that a short? Yeah. People call cucumbers cukes? Sometimes. I've never heard anyone call a cucumber a cuke. <laughs> That's not a th No. Is that a thing? I've never heard that. <laughs> But also, no one ever offers me cucumbers. No one's ever went, hey man, you want a cuke? Link Mountaineer, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Chaz says, I think I need to mark the cooking origin people for blame. 
What a good feature. 500 Bits Mini Nights of Stephen Amell. The New England Patriots have lost a record five Super Bowl games, a record they have tied with what other NFL team? The um, Eagles. The Browns. You think the Browns, the Cleveland Browns. lost five? The Denver Broncos. You thought but the Browns haven't made it to the Super Bowl? They haven't won. Have they made it to the Super Bowl ever? I, they, I think they've made it. But they made it five times? I don't know. That's just a lot for the Browns. Denver Broncos. That's a good. That's a good answer. Once, good for them. Let's do some cooking for Super Yoshi. Oh, just two things: Flint, meat. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you don't know. I can't blame you, but if you know, you know. If you don't know, play Mother 3. Uh, Super Yoshi. Thank you. Super Yoshi says, I've been playing through Mother 3, so that's neat. Nice. I'm glad you got that one. Uh, let's do some cooking for Sherlock. Cheese wedge. You love a cheese hat. <laughs> Mayonnaise and hot pepper. Pimento cheese. You get it so fast. It's a it's a tiny little cheese wedge. Looks like a little cheese yarmulke. <laughs> By the way, happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah has begun. So happy Hanukkah to all of our, our Jewish viewers. Hope your holiday is started good. I was looking next year. Next year, Hanukkah starts the same day as Christmas. Does it? I think it's next year. I was looking at the calendar of like when it happens, like, oh, it's like a, like the Venn diagram is diverging. Sherlock, thank you. Oh boy. The oldest way to start your dinner, Tiny Eddie's rubber banana swirls. Is a rubber banana like a, like a, like a joke thing? Now they have like rubber foods and you like, I was thinking like kids' foods that, like the plastic food that kids would play with. Yeah. I don't think you should make food out of rubber. No. Um, personally. A doggy chew toy. Yeah, yeah maybe Tiny Eddie can get into, get into pets. That was a bit of what I was give me that cuckoo, Eddie. You really, it's not even really a cuckoo. <laughs> like, it's, a, it's a, we made a rubber banana. I don't know what to tell you. We didn't cook anything. No food was involved. Just, just rubber. Wild. <laughs> Sada, thank you. We had five months from D. Bradwell. Uh, eight months from Chloe Siegel. Three hundred bits from James E. P. He says, "Hey, Geruda may have uh, may have two debated pronunciations, but as a Pokemon fan, I feel like we still can't agree on how to pronounce Arceus. Isn't it Arceus with a, a hard?" C sound? I would base it off of whatever like a commercial said, but if they don't say it in a commercial, then I'm like, I don't know. I have no idea. Hey, hey little guy. Freeze him. We had a thousand bits of Protopia Guardian says, good evening. Well, maybe not so much for me. Every year I always get sick eventually when the cold season starts and I finally got this year's crap. Coughs, runny nose, throat pains, all that garbage. Asking for any good vibes you can send my way. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. I hope that, uh, I mean, I feel bad that it's every year. I mean, I guess that gives you the benefit of, like, knowing it's coming. <laughs> but it still sucks. I hope you get over it quick this year. I hope it's mild and fast. Uh, we have 53 months from Vinny G Place. 500 bits from Aspiring Fish. It says, good evening, grandparents and chat. I would like to request some good vibes for my Vector Calc final next Thursday as my grade hinges on doing well. I don't know what that is, but I wish you well. What is vector calc? Don't know. I mean, I understand calc is short for calculus, and I understand that it is some sort of math. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Haley says, I like it when it's mild and fast. It's great. I, <laughs> calculus with vector the crocodile, ah. Perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. 
Anyway, good luck on math. Math's hard. Uh, 20 months from Hein 2208, 41 months from Trainswreck, 37 from Jade Jennings, 13 from Mountain Mermaid, 29 from Haley May 88, 46 from Shinny Nerd, 46 also from Dragon Girl, 46 also from Shinna. Did we, that was a combo! Hey! We haven't had a combo in forever! Holy crap! Amazing! When when you get when you get three resub months that are the same in a row, that's a combo. It's 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 hard to get. It does not happen very often. 34 months from Break All the Pots, 34 months also from J-Rub, 4 months from Brandon the Sun Dragon. We got 500 bits from Valix Butterfly, it says, That begs the question, Steven, are you allergic to cornbread or just corn in its most basic form? Also, hi all, happy Friday, it's been hell of a week. Um, so, my suspicion is that I'm probably allergic to just corn products to an extent, um, but I don't avoid corn products because corn corns and everything, and I'm usually, like, sick anyway, and it doesn't make me any more sick. Corn does. Like, straight up corn is like, I should not do that. I should not. But, like, cornbread, like, I'll eat cornbread, and that doesn't, that doesn't really cause me <laughs> any more noticeable problems than sheer existence, so I will eat cornbread, and I love cornbread. Do you see what Alex said? Scroll up more. Yeah, I, I, I was like, hey, good looking? <laughs> no, more. A little more, a little more, a little, little more. more. There. Oh, Alex says, my two-year-old nephew pointed to the VCR and some tapes and asked me what it was, and I was very excited. <laughs> uh. <laughs> There's an entire relationship. I was going to say forming, but just existing within the chat. 23 months from Terry, eh? Mm. 3 bits from Break All the Pods, who says, I had my last two finals yesterday, and now I am officially on break and halfway through law school. Nice. Nice. Shout out to getting on break. That was my favorite part of school. <laughs> favorite part of school is getting out of there. 46 months from Boffinoff. Uh, 300 bits from King Kuran, who says, So, what did everyone think about the Game Awards last night? I'm still a bit salty about the prompter saying stuff like, Please wrap it up while people are still being handed their awards. I did not watch the Game Awards because I, I don't ever watch the Game Awards, but I did scrub through it. I'm not, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really like award ceremonies. I just don't. It doesn't matter if, if they're for games or your movies or TV or music. Like, I'm just not big into that. But I do scrub through the Game Awards because sometimes they announce games. So I just scrubbed through it and looked for announcements and like nothing was interesting to me except house house has a that house house game out. except that house house game yeah big walk is that what it's called i think big walk there were some other like minor things right like, now i was excited of, about world of yeah. view mm -hmm. i was excited that like they're gonna make another crazy deck like i'm excited about those things but like my my top tier one is like house house yeah i was like that's interesting and then, of course, the OD thing was neat, but, like, it, there, it, you don't get to see anything. The thing I'm most excited about is Hideo Kojima is working on a, a horror game because it's been how many years now? Like, almost a decade since he was going to work with mm -hmm. Del Toro on, like, PT on Silent Hills or whatever. So he's finally getting a chance to, like, do a thing. So that's that part's exciting. I'm going to run and grab something. Okay. You need anything? I know you have a drink, but you need anything else? No, I'm good. Okay. Well, thank you for asking. You're welcome. We had 26 months from Kit Khalid. J-Rub gifted a sub to X Cloudy X. Uh, 21 months from Jonathan. 30 months from Ma Musicos One. 300 bits from Microwave Dallas Terrace says, I got COVID. Feels like a flu. No thoughts. Head empty. Good vibes. Hope your, your recovery is quick. I've, I've known a few people who have gotten COVID, and, and it, it seems like they are s sick for less than two weeks. Which is still a long time, but as of recently, uh, <laughs> I've known people that have been sick for like three. So hopefully it's fast. Hopefully it's quick. Uh, we got 44 months from Queer Quest, 8 months from Tech Absol, 5 months from E Squared 95, and 300 bits of Manta here, Sora. 
who says, uh, yeah, I didn't even remember that the Game Awards was yesterday. I just searched up the announcement this morning. The only thing I'm excited about is the free DLC for God of War and Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, it's... I know that some people are very excited about the Game Awards, and I'm happy that they are. I know the another thing for people is that, like, they want there to be an award show for, for the video game industry. And, like, I understand that. But is it my interest? Like, not at all. Like, I, if I start watching it, I'm like, ah, I don't want to, I just don't want to sit through this. Uh, but I do like to see whenever games are announced. I don't want to watch, like, like, I'll watch Nintendo Directs, but, like, I don't want to watch long-winded announcements for games either, usually. I just like to scrub through and be like, what's that look like? Okay, what's it called? All right. And then move on. Like, I watched the game, the Game Awards were, it was a three and a half hour show. It's a long time. I'm very old. So I got through it in like half an hour, 25 minutes. King Kern says it felt longer than three and a half hours. That's not great. It's not great when you watch a thing and you're like, that felt way longer, <laughs> way longer than it was. I'm like, oh. Oh. <laughs> Alex says, I haven't watched the Game Awards since G4 was on cable. Is Jeff Kelly still inexplicably a part of everything game media related? Yes. Yes. And like, I, I don't have anything against him, but I also am like, it kind of, there are, in a way, one of the weird things about the Game Awards is the Game Awards kind of feel like his show. And I understand that, because he's been in the video game, like, journalism industry for a long time, and specifically done, like, video game award stuff for a long time. But, like, and, I, yeah, I understand it's his show. Like, I get that. But also, it, I don't know. It's a weird feeling when I watch it. Because, like, even though it's about, like, the game award, like, it's for the game awards and, like, the, the giving awards to developers, and uh, people in the video game industry, it feels just a little weird to me. I don't know. I don't know how to put my finger on it. But also, I don't like award shows, so I'm probably not the target audience anyway. Satisfy your zesty tooth with Tiny Yeti's pureed twice-baked mango and pumpkin pieces. Twice-baked mango and pumpkin pieces. Does mango and pumpkin go together? That was a bit from Jonathan it says, uh, what Tiny Eddie snack should I have to celebrate my birthday tonight? Uh, Tiny Eddie's pureed twice baked mango and pumpkin pieces. Maybe separate. <laughs> what if they're really dried out and crispy, Chaz asks. I like mango a lot. Pumpkin's fine. Mm -hmm. At least it's edible. This one's not rubber. We had 100 bits from Legend of Daniel, 37 from Elliot Baker Street, and 13 from I Will Scream Into the Abyss. Thank you. You wanna look at art? Yeah, I do. Check this out. <laughs> that was your Elmo voice. Me eat. It was a unique, it was a unique Elmo voice. I'll tell you that. Why is it suddenly so hot? <laughs> the fire thing didn't even work as well as I wanted it to. I thought it would bounce around and it, it didn't do that very, very good. <laughs> Man, that was one of the wildest parts of Breath of the Wild. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't the mirror shield reflect fire in other Zelda games? Does it not? Is it just light?
only an ocarina of, that's why. That's probably why I think that. Because my brain is hardwired to like that Zelda game. <laughs> in Link to the Fast, you can push fire back. It reflects in Link's Awakening too. Well, those, well, that might be why, because like those are the Zelda games that I put the most time into in my formative years when my brain was mm -hmm. developing. <laughs> that's the thing about video games. Like you don't know it when you're a kid, but when you're a kid, that's when your brain is like, I will know things and it's taking in the world. So if you put video games into the, the kid brain from whatever age four to 14, like that's where your brain's like, got it. It's, that's when brain is sponge. Slick Duke says, does that mean you don't know things now? Slick Duke, you've been here. <laughs> you, <laughs> you have a two plus. <laughs> like, like you, you know I know, I don't know anything. Like, <laughs> 63 months from Mike Capella. Thank you, Mike. And uh, let's do it. Let's, let's do a Zelda. I see that you're munching. You good to, mm -hmm. okay, uh, it'll take me another second here. Mm -hmm. So you just, just gonna move this stuff around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Moving this car around. Do, 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 do. And let's put this on the screen over here. There we go, let's continue. This is where we were. Okay. Let me just eat these three almonds quick. And let me also move this around. Okay, I like to do that. That helps me. You ate some almonds. Oh, you left the cheese. I'll get them on the break. Ooh, on your on your break, you just get to eat like a little pile of cheese. <laughs> like a little lab rat. <laughs> um, okay, what? Are we doing? The bazaar was ahead. The bazaar was ahead, that's right. Taking a look quick. Don't make a sound. Okay. I was just making sure that there's like no echo on anything. So if okay. that if that happens <laughs> someone will someone will let me know. Oh, I need this too. Oh, you had plenty of time to eat that cheese. I... Sorry. Mm. Cheese is for break. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this. Okay. I'm going to get rid of the star. The first thing. Very first thing. We're going to... So, Gerudo's here, but we're going to the bazaar. Mm -hmm. Is this the bazaar? We're next to it. It's by the oasis. Oh, this is the... Oh, we're there! Yeah, it was ahead. Oh. Okay. Kara Kara Bazaar. All right. Well, let's talk to some folks. All this stuff is fresh. I will hunt you dead. What? Late enough for you? Well, what do you think? I sound just like your average Hylian shopkeeper, right? You're a natural. Why did she say, I will hunt you down? <laughs> I know, right? My kid sister taught me. She's traveled all over the place. I can teach you some Gerudo if you want. My products have a price, price, but my Gerudo lessons are free. Teach me Gerudo. I'd be happy to. Let's start with greetings. What's the nighttime greeting in Gerudo? I thought I was learning, not being quizzed. Uh, Sab Saba? Ding, 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 that's right. I had a feeling you'd get that one. Actually, Sava is also correct, but you mostly hear it from younger Gerudo. Mm. Or, you know, how are you in French? Sava. Ça va bien? Um, trace bien. Mm. As a businesswoman, I try to keep my language strictly professional. The va part is pronounced by biting your lip as you say it. Va. 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 So you think you got it figured out? Anything else, slugger? Uh, that's it. Oh, right. You're a vo, a man. So there won't be many places for you to use Gerudo, even if you learn it, since you can't enter Gerudo Town. <laughs> Cool. Oh, here's what we need. Mm-hmm. Vasak! 
I sell one of the latest fashion crazes straight from Gerudo Town. If you're after the Desert Vaux headband, you've come to the right place. It used to be hard for Vaux to get their hands on it. Not only is what I sell a fashionable choice, it's also great at staving off the desert heat. And even if you've already got one, why set up for just one when you could get another in a different <coughs> color? <laughs> Buy from me! <laughs> uh, a different color? Using dye to change the color of clothes is a big thing with young Vi traveling around Hyrule. If you're interested, there's a store in Hotno Village in the eastern edge of Hyrule, the Kochi Dye Shop. Hotno Village used to be a quiet, peaceful little town, you know, but now it's a tourist hotspot. Some folks consider it the center for all things fashionable. Okay, so I just go up to this. Yeah. Wait, what? Uh, sorry, I went pat. She said she'll tell me a super secret. What? I was only half paying attention. I need heat resistance. So we're buying this. Vasak! Ah, that caught your eye, huh? I knew it. It's a must-have for any fashionable Vogue that is trying to live that hot desert life. That headband is the last one I have, you know. If you buy it, I'll tell you. Okay, that's what she said. That could be all yours for the low. Yes, please. We have to try and have some heat resistance mm -hmm. or we're going to some. die. Sark, since you were kind enough to buy the last one, I'll keep my promise and tell you that secret. The headband you just bought is only one part of the Desert Vaux series. There's also a spalder and trousers, but you have to go to a special place to get them. Have you heard of the store Fashion Passion in Gerudo Town? Well, the secret shop is located behind that store. Oh, now that I think about it, Vaux aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Forget I said anything. Well, at least we can, like have something yeah mm -hmm. so this is going to be helpful although right now it's become it's going to become nighttime so it's going to be cold not hot but at least we have that uh and we can sell stuff if we need it but currently we have Ooh, you some. could get some uh like the watermelons i think are for heat i'm wondering if we'll be good with just the helmet i don't know how hot it's going to get though that's the question First the sand shroud and now monsters. All the young'uns are going around using that obnoxious slang too. This must be what the end of the world looks like. Ah, you must be older. <laughs> You'd think so too, don't you, Vo? But I guess anyone who's brazenly strolls into a place like this doesn't care whether they live or die anyway. Mm -hmm. I just don't want anyone to drop dead right in front of me. That'll give me some nasty dreams. Anyway, if you need any of this stuff, I'll sell it to you. Why not buy it all? It'll make my life easier. <laughs> it's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine, so I don't really care what happens to any of you, but if you're ever just lost, look to the sky. Do that and you'll see the eyesore of a lighthouse shining like a star of salvation. Hmm. Life's about living and you only get one shot at it, so don't go dropping dead on Mevo. It starts with an earthquake. Uh, what? Some about a lighthouse? Is that... Look some... up. That's up? A... Up? Up, up? I don't know. Just look to the sky. That? This. That. This is what mm -hmm. they're after. Okay. We'll go up there because it's probably something. Did I miss any shops? What's in the middle of the water and also over there? I wasn't over there. In the water? There's something straight in the middle of the yeah, pond. Yeah, I see it as well. Let me see if anyone's over here. There's a chest. Can I have? There's Let two. Let me talk. Sava, I mean, sub Sava. That was close. If the others heard me, they'd definitely chew me out for using slang on duty. My mentor has entrusted me with decorating a weapon in a stylish way. She told me to make it sparkle and that it must irradiate burning passion, but I don't know what she's talking about. She's got an allergy to monsters, too, so that means monster parts are off limits. If I just had a weapon I could use as a reference for where to start, that would help me a lot. Does that mean, like, have a fire weapon? Is that? Because it had supposed to sparkle? Do we have... Any... We have an opal staff. We have a... That ruby one's almost dead. What is the... The thing for? Why is it sparkling? That's Isn't that usually what it does when it's going to lightning? No. Or is it just showing me what's sparkling? I don't know. I don't know what this is asking me to do. Let me talk again. Sparkle and radiate burning passion. Burning passion sounds like fire to me. Well, we have the, the ruby. No, the, go to the ruby staff. It's almost dead. Yeah. Yeah, now do that. Let's pull this out. Okay. Uh-huh. 
What about this? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Hold on, give me a moment to study this weapon. Yeah, this is it. So if you attach a ruby like this, that sparkle, and the weapon positively radiates with burning passion, even I can make something like this, and it will certainly please my mentor. Sark, for showing me such an inspiring decoration. Please take this. Okay. Uh, okay. Thanks. Oh. It's the material I would recommend for decorating weapons. Normally, I wouldn't recommend going out into the desert at this hour. There are usually quite a few monsters around. However, if you want to test the strength of a weapon you've added something to, now is a perfect time. Okay, I've earned whatever these are. Give? Oh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Those rations are for the soldiers. The sand shroud is wreaking havoc on our supply of provisions right now. Oh. Was there another? Yeah, there's like a. Someone on patrol. I see. Oh, and there's also something happening here. Big old shroom. Sab Saba. Hmm, you're an unfamiliar face. Are you a member of that caravan squad heading to Gerudo Town? What? They're a group of Hylian merchants. It's not as though they can do business in the Sand Shroud, but they're helping out by guarding the entrance here. Mm. It's clear their plan is to gain access to Gerudo Town by getting into our good graces. But our law about Vo is absolute. We wouldn't let them in if we wanted to. Huh. Well, in any case, the Sand Shroud is particularly harsh for you Hylians, so you should stay here. What? What is going on here? Poking at that mushroom. I have a bad feeling about this thing. I don't know why, but I do. I think this is stone, but no matter what I do, I can't put a dent in it. What? What is what is this? Shoot the purple thing. Yeah, with that's an my arrow? that's my first thought. Please, hey Dan. The stream went down, so we're pausing for a second. Reconnection successful. We love it when the reconnection is successful. All right, we should be back up. I paused the game, so there'll just be a little cut here. Ref tell people to refresh the stream. I can't see chat, but I'm assuming they're doing that. All right. Well. So shooting it doesn't do anything. You could land on top of it from the yeah. tower. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking that. Okay, uh, let's figure this thing out. It's just a box. Well, it's probably a chest. Might have something worthwhile in it. Survey says that's a twenty-five yeah, bow. Yeah, that's not a bad bow. That's okay. not that's not awful. Um, so that's over here. There's just some, like some barriers. There's a well. Remember we're oh, supposed to explore Oh yeah, wells? there is a well. Um, let me check out the well before I. Beetles Beetle. here. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything for beetles. Right. Splash. Oh good, we needed those. What? Why? What you... Someone used them. Why? What? what? Someone tends to use them. What? Discovery, it, I guess. Oasis source. Where's my man? He can't be here because you're in like a town. Are you serious? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, do I have... I don't have anything for rocks right now. You sure? What's the thing to the left? The, the smasher. Oh, I bet. Yeah, that might. I can also just like... What? You can just touch the rocks. Oh, it does smash. Look at this thing smash. It does smash. Ooh, a sapphire. And here's a rock. You did it. Good enough. Oh, now they're here. That was rude. Uh, well, oh, there's a lot to break. Oh, I accidentally killed that poor little creature behind me. Oh wait, now I don't have to use this. Hey. Kind of feel bad about that. Oh, look at all that. Oh, flint. This is pretty. Mm-hmm. OK. 
Okay. Big boy, you're gonna get some use down here. Okay, that proceeds. So let's get this stuff. Bomb flowers. Can you can you do something about this? Thank you. Oh my god. Okay. I need to rest. Hey, it's you. What you got for me, pal? The same as always. Always a bubble gem. And a lot of uh, a lot of bright bloom seeds. This makes a loop. Yeah, okay. Well then I won't bother breaking it any further. The oasis this kind of seems like it's going to possibly lead into somewhere. Like this might be how we get into the town. Maybe. But we're not gonna be under disguise. No, to the right. Oh, yeah. Let me grab these. Come here, fella. Pokeball, go! An opal. But? It's fine. You can't carry it. I mean, I might have something bad. Not really. It's a five. It's a, what is it, an eight? It's fine. I have plenty of weapons. Uh, but, 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 but this. That. So, yeah, I'm kind of curious. Oh my god, there's more. Hey, bud. Keep going. Why is it on fire? No idea. Unbearable heat, but, but why on fire? Rock, salt, and flint. Jesus, this is very... Like, most of the wells have not been anywhere near this big. That's why I'm kind of curious if this... We never did explore the, um... The, whatchacallit, the tower. Yeah, can you go through there? Is it too low? This is... The, yeah, I can't limbo. Yeah, I can't go that way. But the cave does continue down here. Mm. What is hole? What is hole? You think I could shoot up there? Don't know. Might be worth a shot. With a bomb? Yeah. Yeah, do it. Let me stand back a little bit. Historically, I don't always... I don't always do that. Stand back. I'm gonna bomb. No? Okay. Uppies. Yeah, I was trying. Go further back. Like... Yeah, huh. that way. This is weird. Why? It doesn't want us to go up here. Oh, well. I guess I just couldn't find a flat place. Oh, that's it. Oh! Where are we? A bad place. We're going... <laughs> that's, I don't want to just show up in the middle of the desert. But I am realizing that this actually could be the easiest way to get into Gerudo Town. But we don't have a disguise. Cause like if we if we got under the city, you would just go up. But this only goes so many places. Yeah, it probably doesn't. I mean, we could just check. Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere close enough to the city. But maybe that's how we get into the city. Is maybe. we just go from the bottom? All right. Um, it's your turn, so I'll let you take care. Of looking at the tower. Of looking at the tower and seeing what's there. There might be something up there. Okay, that mushroom thing is still there. <laughs> it doesn't disappear in well, the day. Well, I thought maybe it. it was a nighttime thing. Oh, okay. This is it. Travel security. Vasak, a journey through the desert is dangerous, and a fully stocked pouch is the best defense. I don't like how those are pulsing. They are a lot. 
By the way, the counter in the back is the front desk for the inn, just in case you want to rest up before your travels. So long. This oasis is safe because of the guards, but be careful if you leave it, okay? <laughs> you want some jellies? Well, there's a book. Zonai survey team's three big ideas. <laughs> We got some big ideas. We got some big ideas. Let me tell you. We know about them. Do you want to hear? I, I probably, uh, I guess we know these. Talk. Are you also stuck here thanks to the sand shroud? Oh, it's never going to let up. I came out here to investigate the ruins that fell up around Dig Dog Bridge. Dig Dog Bridge. But this intense daytime heat and cold nights have messed up my skin, so I figured I'd take some time off at the spa. But thanks to the sand shroud, I can't get to Gerudo Town. This is just the worst. Ugh. Hmm. Okay, I'm fine now. I just need to turn this frown upside down. No wrinkles, just have to unfurl my brow, which I do no sweat if I could just take advantage of that spa plan. Spa plan? There's a skilled esthetician in Gerudo Town named Roma. The fluffy beds here are great and all, but I hear Roma's spa plan is something else entirely. Apparently nothing can make you feel as relaxed, as refreshed as it does. I just want to soothe my poor skin and bone-tired body. Excavating a dig dog bridge has been exhausting. Okay, I'm fine now. I just need to turn this front upside down. No wrinkles, just have to unfurl my brow. If I read three big ideas one more time, I'm going to start seeing the pages in my dreams. If I had known I'd be stuck at so long, I would have at least brought a real book or a newspaper or anything else. You can make a cake. You too can make a cake. Um. Excuse me. Yes, I see you. Will you be using the inn? Uh. The soft bed is supposed to be better than the regular bed, I guess. I don't know. Try it for yourself if you're that curious about it. We thank you from our vi for the, your visit from the bottom of our hearts. Come back soon. You seem very thankful. You're a traveler, right? Do you happen to know anything about Lurland Village? Uh. If you haven't even heard of it, I can't expect you to know its fate. Lurland Village is on Hyrule's southeastern coast. It's a small fishing town. I used to run an inn there until a gang of pirates descended upon us. I fled all this way with nothing but the clothes on my back. And what do I find out here? A terrible sand shroud and mysterious monsters lurking about. I don't know what to do with myself now. We saw the pirates. Like, for, we were up on the, like, a ridge, and we saw, we, like, saw a pirate ship, and we were like, huh. Bye. Well, we, we didn't do anything about that. Okay, so we've seen, we've seen it. Look at that. It's like an updraft. So you're gonna go up. Oh, look at what we have here. Druid of Spear, attaching a material greatly enhances the material's power, but doesn't add as much durability. We could probably get rid of, uh, whatever. You're like, I don't need no spear. I'm going up. I only want up. If only there was a quick way to get up. This ladder? I guess that's faster than uppies. So when I was young, we would go visit my grandparents in like super northern Wisconsin. That might be the back of the ladder. Yeah, I see that now. Anyway, there was a fire lookout tire that, tower that we always went up. Yeah. And this reminds me of that. And the best time to go was at peak fall colors. And it was like, as far as you could see, fall colors. It'll be dawn soon. Hmm? Hey, what are you... Listen, this is the lighthouse for the bazaar. Oh my god, the thing. Mm -hmm. It's not a tourist destination or a place to play around on. That said, I guess it's fine now that you're already here. Go ahead and enjoy the view over the desert. After all, this is the only place in Karaka Bazaar where you can see over the sand shroud. So, should we mark the, the thingy? The, the tier of the kingdom. All right. And we were definitely... Oh, we already did! Oh, good job, us. We're on I top of things. Did. Can you go higher? I will try in a second. So there's a tower. Enemy tower. Enemy tower. 
Okay. That's true, though. You want to mark that just in case we some somehow forget? It's not impossible for us to, like, miss it. I mean, we're pretty smart, but we might miss that. Rock. I see rock. There's the hole. We're yeah, that's so that, that's all the further we got. When we that came looks up, like um, the badminton birdie. Like sitting on its back. Oh, I thought you. I thought it was. I thought you were mentioning like an an enemy. You were like badminton birdie, and I was like badminton birdie. That when you play badminton. I was like, I don't remember that enemy. It kind of sounds like a the naming convention of a Mario enemy. <laughs> you are moving on up to where the fire is. No one's going to stop you from climbing everything in sight. Look how high we are now. Oh, there's a Korok up here. Of course there is. Just be careful. Seems very easy to fall. <laughs> so, my first thought is that mushroom. Yeah. If, can you see on top of the mushroom from Yeah, there? it looks like a plain mushroom. So getting up there might not even help also, us. Man, look at that skeleton. Big skeleton. Ooh. Yeah. You could definitely get there from here, but I don't... Whee! Okay. I don't... I don't know if that's actually going to help us do anything. I want to stand on top of it. Okay. I did it. Oh, now it's hot. You should put your uh, headgear on. There you go. Yeah, that was enough. I mean, well, if it gets if it gets any hotter, maybe not. But I did it. <laughs> uh, I guess head over to where the it was pointing you, like that. Towards Gerudo. Yeah, because there was some people that were on the outskirts, and you might be able to talk to them. I'm not sure why you jumped this direction. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you not see, like, at the at the edge over yeah, there? Yeah, I saw him. Okay. Why'd you jump backwards? Because I was going to try and hit the thing on my way down. Oh, with your... Uh-huh. Oh. That's why you attacked. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure what was going on. I was like, where is she going? So there's a group Those over people. there. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the group that I saw. And there's a thing to build stuff. Oh, look, a Rito. Oh, good Marta. Ah, forgive me. Mixed up my languages there. That was one part good morning and one part Savada. Perhaps I've been out of here too long. Which reminds me, I've heard all sorts of new greetings lately, like Vada and Sava. Should I be using those instead? Oh. Another Hylian stranded by the sand shroud, I take it. How challenging life without wings must be. The higher you go, the thinner the shroud gets, so we Rito can soar right over it. For us, it's a little more than a sandy fog. What's a sand shroud? Have you seen the thick layer of sand over the desert? That's the sand shroud. You should you be caught in it, not only will it obscure your vision, but it will make also make your compass go haywire. Thanks to that updraft over there, however, this oasis is secure. I've never been inside the sand shroud myself. We Rito can simply fly over it. Be careful not to get your feathers rustled by the sand shroud. Good fork for now. Oh, I'm sorry, that was a little bit goodbye and a little bit savor. Look, you knew what I meant. Just take care out there. Sounds like I can just fly over That's it That's what it that. sounds like, yeah. Savada, so, hmm, that was the perfect v if I do say so myself. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Good on you for saying hello. Who are we? We are the first men who will officially do business with the Gerudo. Oh. The Bo Caravan Squad. <laughs> if you two want to go to Gerudo Town, you could do well to make friends with us. Bo Caravan Squad? We're a group of merchants and friends who have long dreamed of doing business in Gerudo Town. Oh, oh and Vo is the Gerudo word for man. Vo's the word to know. If you don't understand at least one word in their language, the Gerudo will never accept you. And we should know. We've spent years trying to curry favor with them any way we could. We finally entrusted... They finally entrusted us with protecting the western entrance to the Karakara Bazaar. 
I've lost count the number of times I've been swatted with the flat of a guard spear. They mistake me for some lowly opportunist. Ah. Gerudo Town is located straight out of this gate. It's a town made by Gerudo for Gerudo, which means it's full of Gerudo. And to us, that means it's a utopia. What? Uh, Captain, not so loud. You're going to give the Gerudo a bad impression of us. Sorry, Robson. It just slipped out. Oh. Anyway, the Drudo have a law forbidding males from entering their town. Keeping us out only makes us all the more curious, though. I mean, that's just common sense. Oh. We were hoping to raise the Vo Caravan Squad's likability by gallantly rescuing the Drudo ladies from the Sand Shroud. But the Sand Shroud just doesn't block our vision. It confuses our compasses, too. We got lost in about five seconds. In the end, it was the Drudo ladies who ended up gallantly rescuing us. Still, maybe if we prove our muster as gate cards, Drudo Town will make an exception and welcome us as heroes. We were we were originally going to go with penis pals, but then we settled on Vo Caravan Squad. Gra ha ha! Get a load of this orb. Seems really old and really expensive, don't you think? I hear there's someone in Gerudo Town who's investigating all these ancient whatchamacallits. So once I get into town, I'm planning on finding somebody who knows their stuff about this stuff. You sound like the guy in the final sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> not Ross Dower and not what's his face, but like the prospector guy. I haven't seen that movie in such a long time. <laughs> I just can't get enough of my orb, can you? Well, that one's mine. If you want your own, you're going to have to go find it yourself. <laughs> Link has a murderous look in his that eye. That is such a... <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I want this orb. So, theoretically... I can just jump into this. You can just jump into that and ride. The air has become very hot. You'll take damage with your current outfit and food effects. Okay. So you're just, like, kind of... <laughs> okay, so even... So we will need... More. More. Oh my god. Is that a redead? Yes. That's cool. Were redeads in Breath of the Wild? Desert Rift. Oh, it's very hot here. We don't have a solution for that, and there's no map. Peace. <laughs> so you went back? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm I'm not sure why you went back. I would have kept going, but that's fine. Anyway, that's we're out of time, so we'll stop there. Um, so there's a rift. There's mm -hmm. a ditch. Yeah, there's a big ditch. There's a big ditch right here. Yeah, in the ditch-shaped thing. Yeah. Um, okay. That I mean that doesn't necessarily stop us. No. But, like, Gerudo Town will stop us, because isn't the Shand Shroud, like, around the town? I guess so. Okay. We'll figure it out. We're smart. All right. Let's take a short break. Did it go? Did it do? Did it do? Did it do? Can you jump that ditch, Steven? Chill Days wants to know. Oh, there's the music. Okay. Took a minute to start. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's easier to jump a ditch in the game because you got like a bird that can push you. I jumped that porch, right? Right? Yeah, honey. Mm-hmm. 1600 from Reed says the stream crashed and therefore you must be punished. Here, have a scare. <laughs> Boo. The Olsen twins are gonna get you. Uh, there's 300 bits from Grandson Brambo says I hated the game awards. The winners only got like one minute to make acceptance speeches. The majority of the show was spent on game trailers and speeches by random celebrities and awards like best music and best RPG were skipped and briefly mentioned. It kind of sounds like the game awards are not doing a good job of living up to their name. <laughs> Might need to, like, take it back to the drawing board and work on it a little bit. 37 months from DevStats. We got 300 bits from Marita says, And now for your weekly Inspirebot quote, Make each and every lunch awesome. I love that one. That's great. 
I mean, I guess you, you probably can't realistically make all of them awesome, but you can get excited about lunch. Thanks, Mike. And I do like to get excited about lunch. Let's do some cooking for Goldlight. Mushroom. Silent Princess. Star Fragment. Is this, a, is this some sort of wordplay also? Mario 3 slot machine game? <laughs> From do, Super Mario do, Brothers do, 3? Where has the sliding? That's the music that they use in that, right? Yes. Is that the music that they... Yeah, okay. They also use that music in Great Guys Casino in Super Mario RPG. So I started singing that because my brain knew the music subconsciously, and then whenever my ears heard it, I was like, that's Great Guys Casino. Like, my my brain argued with itself. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. My thoughts in my mouth. That was wild. That was a weird mental exercise. Good lighting, thank you. Uh, Gamers007 below gifted to sub to Nintendo Capri Sun, Tim. Thank you, gamers. 26 months from Reniner. 500 bits from Aspiring Fish. It says, Vector Calc is traditionally part of Calc 3, but my university splits Calculus 1 to 3 into six different courses. So Vector Calc 1, which is what I'm taking, focuses on finding the area slash volume of a shape in 3D, integrating and differentiating multiple variables. Okay. That helps a lot, because I was not sure. I was like, these are words. But finding the area and volume of a shape in 3D is like, okay, I had to do that in school. I mean, I didn't take calc, but I did like, this is the soup can. Did you have that? Yeah, geometry. Is that what that is? That is, right? That's, yeah, that's geometry. Yeah, that sounds right. Concurrence says you did Taco Bell money math. True, but I did also take geometry. I'm doing the best I can. Let's do some cooking for all that jazz. Baguette bread, ham, cheese, baguette bread, lime. <laughs> wow. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> That's just very good. That's just extremely good. I love it. Related, lovin' is what I got. All that jazz, thank you. Uh, we got 44 months from Throwdown. 300 bits from a, li a little light one that says, missed the beginning as I was watching the Mario movie with family. How much chaos has there been? It's, I think it's a, we're pretty light on chaos. Do you think Chaz waited? Yes, because it, <laughs> because little light one also sent in the 1600. So little light one, so like little light one sent those in. They were, they were, weren't sent together, they sent apart. And Chaz just sat and was like, I know when to do this. Listen, Chaz has a lot going on. This is a little light <laughs> one themselves like... waited, actually. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, because that was actually, oh, I see. Yeah, okay. I see that. I just wouldn't put it past Chaz, so that's why I'm like, it's probably Chaz's fault. It's been, it's been relatively, we've been a little chiller, I think. Yeah. Aside from a few folks giving me a little fright. A little bit. I did physical therapy today. It's a Friday. Yep. My physical therapy today was good. And then when I left, we put tape on my back in, an, in the shape of an X. Is it still on? Yeah. Okay. You never showed me. You just told me. You knew Back I can't see it. It's oh. higher. It's higher? Yeah. Oh, is it, oh, is it roll? Oh, it's rolling up. Oh. oh. I don't want to touch it because I don't know what kind of tape it is. Oh, yeah, you probably don't want to touch it. 
So the reason is, I've been working on all sorts of things and my back is still hurting a little bit. And I, to I told him, I was like, you know, I was like, I understand, I know that some of it is my posture when I work. I was like, I try to be cognizant of it and I'm like pretty good at it, but sometimes I forget or I'm, I'm in the zone and like, I don't think about it until I'm done. And he's like, okay. So he put tape on my back in the shape of an X and the goal of that is that if I if I slouch at all, the tape pulls on my skin and is a reminder of like, hey, sit up. So I've had it on all day, and the goal is like, you know, if if I'm slouching at all, then I can feel tape, and I'm like, okay, I need to like make sure that I'm sitting up. The problem is it has come undone a little bit. Renee, Haley could also stand behind you with a bat. <laughs> Andy says, I'm stealing that. It's kind of clever. It's kind of clever. They didn't tell me what tape it is, but I'm assuming since several people are men mentioning it, it must be, uh, tape. yeah, kinesiolo kinesiology tape. It doesn't matter if it's latex or not. I'm also allergic to the adhesive. Yeah, I don't believe that it is latex. Latex. Yeah. Um, cause he asked me if I had any allergies and I was like, no. And he's like, okay. He's like, sometimes people get some bumps from the adhesive. And I was thinking. Some bumps is putting it mildly. Yeah. But I, I should be fine. Uh, so we got 300 bits from Jace Book says, Hound Flash has won bingo on the first episode. As a prize is a 3DS trivia question. Which of these 3DS games has a typo on the spine of its game case? Is it A, Codename Steam, B, Fire Emblem Revelation, C, Harvest Moon Skytree Village, or D, Resident Evil Revelations? Harvest Moon. I I think it's Fire Emblem? No, it's it's Resident Evil Revelations. I, I think it's one of the Revelation games, because that sounds familiar. I think it's Resident Evil. That's my guess, because like, yeah, okay, Resident Evil Revelations. I remember hearing about that at some point and thinking like, how'd they mess that up? I guess anything is possible. Yeah. But, uh, we also had 300 bits from Slick Duke says, oh bingo board, oh bingo board, how lovely are your squares? This might have been the fastest bingo session. How Flash won this one, what did they win? Um, let's go with, I got one. Okay. Three, two, one, Sharp. keyboard. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, sharp keyboard. All of the keycaps have been replaced with knives. <laughs> but don't worry, every pair ships with uh, metal gloves. So you'll be safe. Just don't forget to put them on. <laughs> That's not the worst prize. It's just not great. <laughs> we had 21 months from Guy Astronaut, 30 from Avrak 1, 5 from Catalonia, and 300 bits from Ambi Walsh says, I just got done using tape myself. It's closing a box that will soon be addressed to you. Mwahaha. Well, thank you. I look forward to it. We actually, we just went to the P.O. Box yesterday, two days ago. I don't remember when you went. I didn't go. Oh, that's right. I went recently. Dennis I... Day. That was yesterday. Okay. Uh, and I picked up a bunch of stuff. So there was a bunch of stuff in there. I picked it up. And we will def we'll do a holiday mail video at some point soon. Uh, 500 bits from all that jazz who says, haven't made it to stream in a bit. Uh, been a nice time. Glad you're here. Yeah. Hope you're having a fun time. Uh, and 510 from Anise who says, Mal can also just strap you to the chair. Then you'll never slouch. Just kidding. Glad that physical therapy is going well. It has. Um, See, I need to get one of those things that keeps your shoulders back because I do this a lot. Mm, yeah. Uh, the, what, the main thing that we're working on now mm -hmm. is just trying to, like, I mean, exercise and stretch and, and really focus on, like, building muscle in my back. And actually, the thing that you're saying mm -hmm. about the... So, when you work at a computer, you do that. Like, your, your shoulders come yeah. forward. And there's an exercise that you can do and I was doing it today, and it's it's almost hilarious how weak I am there specifically. What you do is you lay face down, because they have the tables with the hole cut in, mm -hmm. and you just, you basically, like, laying flat down, you just lift your shoulders up 
off of the table. And like, I, I, I'm doing it and like from the first one, I'm like trembling. It's so difficult. And I'm like, my God, it seems like it shouldn't be hard, but it's, it's stupid hard. He's like, yes, he's like, so when people work at the computer, he's like, they naturally, they're, because mm -hmm. your, your shoulders are forged. So a lot of people are actually very weak. He's like, so you can work on this. And I was like, got it. Got it. Chrysalium says, oh, I do that in bed sometimes. That's good. Work, work it. So one of the things I've dealt with uh, post-surgery mm -hmm. is I sleep on my side. So like keeping my arms like this is not comfortable. Yeah. So I've been sleeping with like a pillow between my arms like this. Yeah. And I think that's, I mean, that's how, that's how Haley sleeps. That's how Haley does a lot of things with the pillow. Mm -hmm. You need to get a small pillow though. I do. Because you currently have the, the pre is it the pregnant woman you is that is that what it's, it's for a maternity pillow yes. maternity yeah that's <laughs> a nicer way of being like pregnant woman you um yeah it's a big old thing and it's taking up a lot of room which is fine it's fine it is taking up like 65 percent of the bed a little extra than like, 50 what yeah it is more than 50 so i get into my sliver of the bed and i'm like Right, this is fine. But yeah, if we could get you, um, Haley says that is not at all how I sleep. I'm on my back with one propping up on my shoulder. Well, sorry, what I meant to say was that you have a pillow, not that you sleep like this, but that you have a, a pillow that is supporting you. That's that's the point I was trying to make. Yeah, but we need to get Mal a smaller pillow for like that because it's taking up it's taking up a lot of space. It's taking up a lot of space. All right. There's two art. There's two arts. You want to see them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or backwards is bro. <laughs> this is normal. Or backwards is bro. <laughs> this is very good. Did I do my duo today? This is extremely good. So, oh, I think I this will happy. resonate with many people. Very, 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 very funny. That's excellent. Very, very excellent. <laughs> hey, raise your hand if you're doing Duolingo. I mean, I'm not, but I just know that a lot of people, a lot of people are doing it. Did you play? <laughs> yeah, Alex and Haley call it pleasuring the owl, which, um, is not probably what Duolingo wants you to call it when you do your Duo lessons, but if you don't use the um, the larger icon, what's that called? The widget. The widget. On your homepage, if you're using iOS on your phone, the owl does faces when you, it's upset at you. Yeah, I would just and not have it. Flying? I would just not have it be a widget. Oh, but I like that because I'm like, oh, look at this poor owl. This poor owl. Don't worry, I'll learn Japanese. You you won't starve. Okay, let's uh, it's a, a video game. Sprip. 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 Uh, Sprip. Sprip. Someone thinks they're getting a scoop. Um, it's a little early. Next okay. break would be better. Okay, let's wait. He's watching. Just don't look at him. I looked at him. Don't. That's I did. that. Well, don't do it again, because that's this. That's how he starts to be like, well, what, you, "What you doing? <laughs> You're paying attention to me." <laughs> yeah, that's the. You have to like really ignore cats because as soon as, as, soon as you give them any attention, they're like, "Mm hmm." All right, what are we doing? You're probably wanting to cook some food. Oh, because we don't have any mm -hmm. resistant heat. Oh, yes. Okay. Um. So, likely, over the course of our adventures, we have something. Yeah. I well, wonder, there's also the can watermelons. Can I sort type, tack power, and most used? So, I sort by type. There's the watermelons, or the gourds top right. There's also ice mushrooms, I think. The gourds? That. Swim. Okay, that enhances that. swim speed. Yeah. I kind of wish that you could there's just search, search for, like... What's the blue mushroom? Bottom left. Stay cool in arid regions. That's what we need. 
So let's get a let's get some chill shrooms going. Um, was there a pot? Yeah, to the right. Yeah. Okay. This is the last one. It's always the last one. Okay. All right. We are going to uh, hold. If we did five, it would just like give us something for like a long mm -hmm. time. And then hopefully we would just, that would be all we need. And then maybe we'll do like, like a, like a few extra with just two. Oh. 12. 12 minutes. Okay. I'm also going to do one with two. 12 minutes. Like we. And then one more for backup. Yeah. One more for backup. I'm going on vacation for three days. So I better take. 10 pair of underwear in case I crap myself every day of the trip. Oh, I didn't mean to do... That's fine. Two, decrease. Three. No, let me decrease. Yeah. Okay. So... It's not hot yet. So... There it does have to be a game plan. I mean, should I just try and push towards Gerudo? You could also like do it at night, where it's like well the not... sand. Yeah, well the I'm not worried about that now because okay. we have the 12 minute yeah. thing. The issue is the sand shroud. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm assuming that once we get here, we will learn some way to get in. Maybe yeah. Hopefully, Desert Rift is interesting though. That I find a little interesting because I I've continued to Look wonder to the... down slowly. I was looking at what that was. Mm. I, I continue to wonder if maybe we get in from underground. And that, that then that leads me to believe, like, oh, well, does the Desert Rift have, like, an underground section? But it's impossible to know. Yes. Until we try. So let's eat the 12-minute boy. Okay. <laughs> Poor guy. He's That's doing, how I feel all summer. He's doing the best he can. Mm -hmm. All right. Eat. Further ahead. I assume that that's why this thing is here. Yeah. If I can get above the sand shroud. So we're basically looking for ways to stay high. Let me reword that. We're basically looking for ways to stay above the sand shroud. Mm -hmm. Um, like. Aim for that, yeah. You think that thing? Is that, do you think that's beyond the rift? Mm, yes. Okay. But that's probably my best. Oh, it's like disappearing. That. That's because there's a cloud going there. You're uh, fine. But we know the Just direction. Just aim that is. way. There's no way I'm going to make it. You're fine. Um, definitely not. You're fine. I'm definitely it's, it's not. It's fine. Everything is good and fine and good. I'm in the rift. That's fine. You're almost there. You can climb up it. I Look, did, you made I, it over the rift. Okay, I cleared the rift. Don't spin too much. You're going to lose the direction you're headed. Okay. So there was like... Oh, yeah, because we don't have a... So, okay. So yeah. like this thing to your right here, like there looked like there was the foundation of a house on the f map. Oh, there's another um, thingy. Yeah. That's all we need. Okay. If we get above it. This, re this reminds me a lot of Ocarina of Time. Because mm. in Ocarina of Time, when you have to go to the sand temple or whatever it is... Um, it, this exact same thing happens. To your right. To my right? Oh, shoot. I went this way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sorry. I'll, I'll get above it again. Hold on. Let me rise above. Oh, God. I did not rise above. It's that way. Okay, let me, let me hit this. Trying to lighten your breath. Oh, I'm out of it. I'm out of it. No, I'm not. Oh, God. There you go. Okay. Gerudo Town. They aren't going to be able to know anything because it's too windy. Yeah. That's that's what's going on. There's a redead in there. Oh, that's not great for them. No. Uh... 
Gibdo. Pokemon! Fight him. I would love to fight him. Um, let me get rid of this thing, maybe. Okay. We can always make a new one. <laughs> Unnecessarily violent. Ooh! Ribcage! <laughs> Ribcage. That's a big fuse attack power. Some mm -hmm. of the things give us ridiculous fuse attack power. Oh, you hit that one. Okay, well, I meant to do that then. Oh. Hey, Perda, you made sure the entrance was really securely blocked, right? <laughs> yep, it's very much completely blocked with a crate. Keep it down. What do you think's gonna happen if those monsters outside hear us? Alright, so that's finally gone. Uh, Ripcage. You didn't get the arrow. I did. I, I didn't get the claymore. No, you didn't. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Maybe there were two arrows. I don't think anyone's going to kick us out. No. That This thing was creepy as hell. <laughs> There's a note. <laughs> Sorry, this is how I read. <laughs> this is how I read. Construction and service notes in regard to work on the hole in the floor. Due to a lack of resources, a large stone slab has been used to temporarily seal the hole in the floor. Oh, that means that I can, like... Move. Move stone slab. What stone? In here? Yeah. Ah... Uh... <laughs> We love that for us. Hole. Hole. Okay. Nearby, up above. What is down here? What, what we got going on down here? A message in a bottle? It's you, at long last. You, the Vo reading this letter, are the Vo I was fated to meet. And I am the Vi you were destined for. You must hurry and rescue me. I am locked away from the outside world. Do not worry, though. I will send all of my love to you until you come and find me. Stay safe and know that we will meet soon. It is our destiny, after all. Caliban. Can I, like, take this? No. Okay. Is there another one? There is another one. It looks like there's a bunch of them? What the heck? Can I check it while I'm in the water? No. Okay, well... Can you grab it? Yeah, almost certainly. I'll do that. What the heck? Oh! They're just putting a bunch of them... Okay. They must be in here. Let's go up, I yeah. guess. They are just throwing... Okay, yeah, we definitely need to go up here. Let's see if this is where we want to be. Now... <laughs> How them Duke boys gonna get out of this one? <laughs> like, this might get me in trouble. But, um... Maybe I'll be fine? Hey y'all, what's up? No. A vo, there's a vo here, stop him. I guess I should have known. Yeah. Watch him just put drop me in the middle of the desert. Huh? Vo are not permitted to be here. You must leave at once. Oh. Hold on. Buliara, Gerudo Captain of the Guard. It has been some time, Swordsman. It's all right. This one has the Chief's permission to enter, and he is welcome to visit any of the shops and businesses. Spread the word. Let everyone know this is the case. For you to come all this way, enduring the strange storm that plagues us, you must have some important news to share. 
Yeah. Your jelly is moving. The <laughs> Girl, <laughs> move that gel. The princess of Hyrule was still missing. We had heard of the events at Hyrule Castle, but this, things are dire indeed. Still, swordsman, I mean, Link, I am impressed you made it here through the storm that surrounds Gerudo Town. The sand shroud settled on us some time ago. We sent out patrols to try to determine what was causing it, but a swarm of monsters, creature calls... Creatures called Gibdos suddenly appeared, attacked our troops, and forced us to retreat. The Gibdos have even made their way into the town. As a result, everyone was evacuated to this shelter for their safety. As someone charged with protecting Gerudo Town, I am ashamed of their current situation. This is all to say that, although I wish I could help you search for the princess, now is not a good time. I'm sorry. Mm. Lady Riju is currently training. She is trying to become strong enough to save us from this disaster. If you are hoping to speak with Lady Riju, you should visit the ruins to the north. Alright. Oh, don't... cry? Hey, so you're a special Vo, aren't you? Otherwise the soldiers would be arresting you right now. So why are you special? Hey, Dahlia, you'd better not be speaking to that Vo. Didn't Miss Ashai teach you the first rule about Vo? For young Vi, speaking with a Vo will only invite misfortune. True, though. I'm not talking to the Vo. I'm just talking. I can't even see, so it's not my fault who comes walking by. Ugh, that doesn't make any sense. Listen up, Vo. You shouldn't go poking your nose into Gerudo life. You're free to come and go as you wish, but please don't disrupt the peace of our town. Oh, my God. You... You're a real Vo, right? <laughs> yeah. R really? Are you telling the truth? I learned in the class that all Vo like to lie, though. Hey, Kalani, you better not be talking to that Vo. Why don't you follow Makure's example? Be more like your sister. It, it's fine. I haven't made eye contact, so it's all fine. <sighs> of all the things you could have learned at your age, why is arguing the one you've taken such a liking to? Are you the one that's been... Oh, yeah. What? What do you want? I'm I'm busy right now, okay? I need to make sure the Vo of my dream hears of my feelings for him. But how can I properly focus the positive energy or put the bottles in the water while this guy is loitering around? Aww. Get out of here! Scram! <laughs> Alright. So, like, the whole... There's, like, a whole t town in one building. Currently, yes. Currently, yes. This... <laughs> This don't open for, open you, for no. anyone. Uh, what you got? What is this? Okay, so there's some... We already have a head heat resistance, yeah. so this doesn't really help us. Increase the def... Huh! The power of the land to defense... Okay. That's neat! I wonder, like... Like... Putting something on, equipping stuff, does increase your defense just inherently. I wonder how much better this is. No idea. Do we have enough of these things? I don't know. I don't either. I like those little lantern oh, lights. Oh, yeah, we do. You have conquered the... Can I just do this? Yeah. I shall grant the power you seek. I just want it done. I don't want to have to think. Now my arm will feel better. Thanks. Great. Your being overflows with vigor. There is no need to increase your stamina vessels further. Bring peace to the world. Okay, so we are done with that. Yeah. There is only three. Um, oh, cool. Oh, my God. So this is another one? Yeah. Hmm? hmm? Oh. Ah, Vo! Little Gerudo aren't supposed to talk to a Vo, and I'm a little Gerudo, so that means I have to stop talking to you now. Hey, my granddaughter still has a lot to learn before she can talk to a Vo. If you need something, just come talk to me instead, okay? Link down here just ruining an entire society. Uh, okay. 
God, there are so many people to talk to. How y'all doing? Hey, Vo. If you need something, talk to me. I don't want you getting in the way of the sword and shield unit, okay? Okay. Sabak. If you've got something to say, please make it quick. After our humbling first encounter with the Gibdos, I realized that we needed to establish a new unit to, com to combat them. The new unit is in the middle of training. They need to get into fighting shape fast, since the enemy could strike at any time. Uh, what's the new unit? Well, the Gibdos did a serious number on us before. It was so bad that some of the guards who fought in the first encounter are still recovering from their wounds. I believe that partly has to do with how hard it is to protect yourself while using a spear. Both hands are full, you see. So I've established a new unit that will use a sword and shield instead. Okay. In that first encounter, well, if Lady Riju hadn't been there with her control of lightning, we might have been wiped out. All the more reason to get the new unit ready. We have to keep Lady Riju safe. Oh my god, this is a cannon. Ah, be careful! Can't you tell when someone is deeply focused on a dangerous task? Cannons demand the utmost care when handling. I may only be practicing right now, but if my hand slipped, I could set off the cannon. Huh? Don't talk to me again, it could be bad. Really bad. Alright. There's so many folks just chilling. But I guess this is the entire town. Yeah. Uh, everything hurts. I guess I still can't move. Those things, it didn't matter how many we took down, they just kept coming. Where in the world could they have been coming from, though? Hey, don't even think about looking down on our noble guards, understand? Not only have they adapted to a brand new training regimen, one focused on mobility, but they dove straight into battle without hesitation against the Gibdos. They have nothing if not their pride. I don't want to see any more injured people in care. That includes you, so be careful. What, what do you need? God, I'm uncomfortably close to these people. Lady Riju's lightning strikes clearly damaged those monsters. I wonder if I attached an electric Lizalfos horn to this spear. Would that be enough to let me fight back against them myself? But the electric Lizalfos horns are valuable. I wonder if there's some other material I could attach in its place. They're probably trying to get us to do the, uh, the wings. Mm -hmm. You want to break that? I don't think I can. Okay. I mean, maybe, I, I guess I'll try, but I, I don't think I can. Yeah? Oh, is this one of those thingies? Was it It's telling you about the orb. Oh! I'm gonna take a photo of it. Can you read that? Mmm... Yeah, but I'll let you figure it out what it says later. Is that French or something? Okay. Why, well, yes, that's Gerudo those kids are speaking. <laughs> but no, they're not Gerudos. They're American. Uh, I, I understand what you're saying. But right now it's a luxury that we even get this much space in the shelter for training. It's only enough room for sparring, so that will have to do for now. But Captain Teak, we need the training area. Is there no way to get it open back up for us? Training area? Ooh. Hmm? Oh, you're the Vo that the chief has allowed inside the town walls. If you're interested in the training area, you must be looking to refine your abilities, huh? Well, the Southern Oasis training area is where we've been working to improve our desert mobility. Physical strength is important in fighting, of course, but being able to easily navigate the desert is valuable, too. In fact, I'd argue that maneuverability is the most important part of surviving in the desert. If you really think that, then we need to reopen the training area and get to work right away. I already said no, Sudri. If we underestimate how dangerous the desert is, we'll never live long enough to master it. Going out and training in the Sand Shroud would just be throwing your life away. Until the Sand Shroud ends, we can't risk going to the training area. I won't allow it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to you. Okay. There's probably still a few more people to talk to, and then, of course, getting to... Is it, hold on, does that mean something? It's like three things and then lightning in the middle. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nearby, up above. So are we still in the sand shroud? Like, if you map, does it show us? Okay, we're basically right below the thing, too. Yeah. So when you're ready to go to that, you can yeah. do it pretty easily. 
Sava. Oh, you must be that Vo everyone is talking about. Say, are, are Haile and Vo interested in archaeology? Would it surprise you to learn that I'm an archaeologist myself? After much work, I've finally deciphered these stelae. Do you want to hear what's written on them? You do, don't you? I do, actually. If you insist. First up, the stella over here on the left. It says... Is that steel? I don't know what that word is. The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo. Their secret will be expressed on six stelae. As for the stela over there on the right, it says, The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, an eighth channels and guides the powers of these seven. Hmm. I doubt you know this, being a Hylian foe, but we Gerudo have believed in the heroines for a long, long time. They are said to have protected and guided our people in times past. Unfortunately, I have found little in the way of documentation about the heroines themselves. There are many debates and disagreements surrounding these enigmatic figures. Some argue for revering all seven as a collective, and others for worshipping each one as an individual. Certain rabble-rousing contrarians even claim there were not seven, but one, or eight! If there's one thing scholars love, it is arguing with each other. But these stelae, uh, these stelae definitely support the theory of eight. An incredible discovery, isn't it? I could stop here and rightly say that I changed the face of archaeology. But if I found the other four stelae, who knows what else I might learn about the heroines? Well, I found one. I wonder, too, about this orb that I found while searching for the stelae. Is it connected somehow? <laughs> if I gave a presentation on all this, I'd be the star of the archaeology society. Uh... But I have not been able to find any stelae besides these two. Since there's nothing like them on the surface, the others must be underground somewhere. I have one. How I wish I could see the text inscribed on their stelae. Even just a picture would serve my purposes. Already did it! Mm. I must find four more stelae if I saw a photo. There you go. You found a stela? 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 Show me. Stella. Stella. Show me. <laughs> yeah, that show's like 30 years old. Let's see. It says, The seven heroines protect the Gerudo with the powers of heart, skill, fortitude, wisdom, flight, mobility, and compassion. Mm. Mm, yes, this legend is well known, but it had never been verified. Eh? Until I came along, that is. Ha ha ha. Oh. I'm curious about the text inscribed on the stila. Stila. <laughs> on the S word. Did you perhaps find any? We just have the same one, don't we? Oh, you don't have any new ones. No. Oh. Only three remain. So they're underground. So we'll keep an eye out for that, because that probably does something good. And who knows what quests, like, may end up being connected to, like, shrines. Yeah. It's hard to tell, so. So we still haven't figured out what orb does. What do you think you're doing? I was in the middle of studying that. Maybe an object of vast historical significance until I unlock its mysteries, whatever they are. I don't want anyone to touch it. Okay. Okay. So we know that the the guys outside have one. Yeah. What's further in before you zoom on up? Oh, it's a box. <laughs> what is this strange object? Hey. There's so much. You must be that man. I mean, Vo that everyone is talking about, it's so unusual to see a man here. So did you really get special permission to be in here, huh? All the same, you should still be on your best behavior. You wouldn't want to end up thrown out or in jail. That's what normally happens when men come in here. <laughs> like what happened to that guy over there. But I don't think you have anything to worry about as long as you behave. Anyway, this is important. Since you have been allowed into town, you absolutely have to try the Spa Planet Hotel Oasis. The owner of the place, Roma, has a special technique that is all the rage. Originally, I was just another customer coming here to relax, but I got hooked. Now I work here as an assistant. Ha! Uh -huh. The Spa Planet that Ulu offers is reasonably priced and a good option, too. Well, just keep in mind it's discounted for a reason. I don't think the results are guaranteed. Yeah, I was, I was initially confused. I was like, hmm, you are not a Gerudo. But, I, yeah, the town is open to females, so, like, anyone can come in and be like, oh, I'm going to use the spa. Is that... I don't know what a that's... A map? Maybe? Talk to the kid. 
Ah, you're a Vo, just like Daddy. Seva, do you want to see the secret map too, Vo person? It shows the store where Mommy works. Mommy's job is a secret. That's why this is a secret map. Let's see, there's the fruit store and there's the jewel store. Um, what was this moon part again? Well, we learned out in the desert that there's a secret behind a store. The jewel store. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you're a Vo, aren't you? So the rumors were true, there is a Vo in town. You don't look like the Vo dummies from the Vo and you class, though. But I guess you look like how I imagine a Vo looks. Anyway, I'm Pearl. Nice to meet you. This is Aklet. She's a Vi who became my sister recently. Well, I mean, not like my blood-related sister, but I think of her like she's family. Hmm. By the way, my actual older sister is a scholar. Isn't oh. that incredible? I think I'll become a scholar, too, when I grow up. So that was uh, the one that was studying the orb. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? A Vo? No way. Sound the alarm! Guards! I can be here. What's that? You have special permission from the chief? Well, that explains that. And Sorry for shouting. Wait, maybe a Vo could endure my spa plan practice. Okay, Mr. Vo, if you don't mind, would you consider helping me with my spa plan practice? I, I call it practice, but I can guarantee that it will make your body feel good as new. Don't worry about that. But, and this is what I'm still working on. If I get things just right, you'll feel a boost of energy just like with the owner's spa plan. The apprentice spa plan is only 25 rubies too. That's half of the owner's plan's cost, you know. <laughs> Sarkso, how long would you like to relax for? Okay, I've got to put all my focus, all my power into this. It's like getting your haircut at the community college. Well, not the community college. What's the... Well, maybe the community... Where they did... The, the school. Beauty school? Beauty school. Mm -hmm. That's what I was getting at. Did everything go fine? It's been too long or since are I we, went. Or are we dead? Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> I'll give you the best spa treatment. Hell was unleashed upon the world. The apprentice did not do a, as good a job as she thought she would. Monsters came out of the ground. The moon turned red. She did not get the raise she expected. <laughs> Vata, how was that? You might not be fully relaxed, but you seem to be less tired. Yeah, when the world is shaken. Clearly, I still have a lot of practice to get. So what, did, did that do something for us? I think it would have refilled hearts. Okay. <laughs> well, free oil. Savata, hmm? Oh, you're of the, the Vo. Sorry, I don't have time to deal with the Vo right now. All of my attention needs to be on preparing to welcome the out-of-town Vi. The sand trout is making things difficult. Out-of-town Vi? I suppose I can tell you. After all, your situation is unique. As it happens, young Gerudo aren't traditionally allowed to interact with Vo. And for Vi born outside of town, where they reach a certain age, they're summoned back to Gerudo town. Which we've already seen. That small Vi over there is named Aklet. She recently arrived here along with her mother, Perda. But Perda started working at one of the shops, one that has a complicated relationship with the town. So she's rarely in the shelter anymore. That must be why Aklet has spent so much time looking at that drawing on the wall over there. Thankfully, this town is like one big family. I'm sure that little one will get used to living here soon enough. I'm realizing now that that drawing, you may have to get into the shop from underground. And that might be why that drawing is there because we may have to use the map to figure, it out. To figure out where it is and then go up from there. Mm -hmm. So... We'll probably want to keep that in mind. Hey, 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 you're in jail. <laughs> you're in jail. I'm free. I thought I could talk to him. It's, I mean, it would be, it would be possible if you could, like, stand somewhere. This is the jail. Even though you have special permission to be in Gerudo Town, I still won't let you pass this point. Really, the only way into jail is to break our rules. But we're normally not allowed inside our town. The one in jail broke that rule, so he's locked up. 
And even though you have permission to be here, if you break the rules, you'll join him in jail. Gulp. Yeah, I feel like if you were standing flat and you could get the triangle on his head, then you could talk to him, but like... Because like the triangle shows up. Yeah. Could you take the box and flip it that way? Yep. Hey, wait, you're you're a guy, aren't you? How come you're able to just walk around? Why haven't they arrested you? It's no secret that the Gerudo rigidly enforced their law that forbids men from entering the town. So how come you're able to just walk around without causing a fuss? I mean, I barely crossed the threshold between town and desert. They threw me in jail faster than I could say, no wait, not jail! They didn't even give me a chance to explain anything at all. I just wanted to see the faces of my wife, Perda, and our daughter, Aklet. But, and I'm only telling you this because you seem like a trustworthy sort. I'm not. You've met me for ten seconds. I have actually seen my daughter a few times, so on average, I'm more happy than upset. Even though they have me in this jail, I do see her occasionally. However, I haven't seen my wife even once. I know she was planning to work at the clothing store in Gerudo Town, but that's all I've got. I'm sure my daughter could tell me more, but I haven't been able to talk to her yet. Perda, I know we'll be together again soon. Well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, buddy. So, do you think you f have it figured out where you need to be, or are you just gonna go do the uh, shrine? Shrine! Shrine! Alright, this is a start. Are these those tablets? They kinda look- no, there's no way. There's no way that these are. I I mean, like, they could be, but I, they were supposed to be underground. And, like, they wouldn't know about the things that are just, like, in the throne room? That seems odd. You think so? I mean, you can take a photo of them if you want. I just don't think that this is it. <laughs> cool. No, because see how this says this? Yep, so that's not anything. So you can delete anything that isn't anything unless you want, like, the maps. I don't know if we need the maps. We've only taken 64 images the whole time? That looks like a map. Uh, maybe. I guess you can keep it safe. It was a close-up there. That's a good one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Did you... Did you get them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, it didn't show up, so I'm gonna assume I don't need it. Oh, that's a banner. <laughs> yeah! Bling, 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 <laughs> bling, 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 bling! I like plushies. On the ground. Wait, wait, thought, I have. Oh my god. Sure. Let's go for it. It's a multiplier. It's a multiplier. You can, yeah, you, that's not fused yet. That is ridiculous. Okay, we're actually out of time, so we're gonna we're gonna have to stop. Here. Wow, it looks like bouncy you just boomerang. It looks like you just stabbed. It is a bouncy boomerang. It looks like you just stabbed a toy, and we're like, all right. I mean, I guess you technically did. Okay, let's let's take a break. 
Gepo. Come here. I need to look at something. Come here. Oh, he can also get. I know a he can food. get a scoop. At some point. I thought I felt something on his head. Because he was in my lap for a little bit. Okay. Continue. It's for Sailor Moon. 26 months from a clockwork Cory. And three bits from Diamond Luxury. It says, uh, to the tune of Bad Moon Rising by Credence. Don't go out tonight. It's bound to take your life. There's a blood moon on the rise. That was very funny. It's very, very funny that the Blood Moon happened at the exact moment. With the spa? Like, I will give you a, a world-endingly good or bad spa treatment. Diamond Lux says, thank you for knowing who Credence is. It's a band, like, older than 30 years old, so of course I know it. <laughs> oh, shoot. I want to go to the spa. I want to go alone, not with my ma. I want to go there and I want to have fun and I want to maybe experience the sun. The sun is a hot nuclear gas. Now, I won't get into all of that, but instead of the sun and having some fun, instead I experience the moon, the blood moon rising. I close my eyes and I think, oh God, pain in my thighs. I need to run, but I'm stuck here and I don't want to get Enemies in my rear, I have to just endure all of this stuff that I have to sit and wonder if this will ever end. Honestly, this adventure I should quit. <clears throat> Wasn't expecting song. Do, do, Are you do, ever? Do, do, do. Well, no, but like, no, no one ever expects the 95. The 9500 is very like, oh. well, it's kind of just a conglomerate of... <laughs> Haley says, hey, that when I'm trying to have fun, but I get hit by the moon. Those poor people in Majora's Mask. <laughs> you know, this party's going great, but the moon is approaching and we're all going to die. That was 9,500 bits from Link Mountaineer, who said, sing about the Blood Moon Spa experience. Whew. I'm warm. You have an undershirt on. I know. Well, I can't take that off. Well, you can take off the other shirt. Then I'm just wearing like a white t-shirt. Oh, no. That's like a college talking headphone. Link Mountaineer, thank you. And 1600 bits from a little light one that says, you don't expect this either. Jumping in my chair. <laughs> 10 months from uh, Key to Loves SSM. 300 bits from Reed, who says, more moon. Let's do a little cooking. Yeah, TOS. Cooking for little light one. Let's see if there's more wordplay in here. Shaved ice. Curry rice. Ice and rice. Is that like a Mike and Ike? Do you want some ice and rice? Little light one, thank you. Let's do cooking for Sage of Stars. Goron Spice, Tumbler Glass. Spice, God, God, no, no. Ice and rice and spice and vice. Who did these? Who did these? The question is, are there more? Was it two or I don't know. Sage of Stars, thank you. Let's do cooking for Phantom SVT. It's probably not three, it's probably just two. Wine glass and takeout box. Yeah, I guess that's not wrong. Wine and dine is good though, James. Yeah, wine and dine, it's wine and dine too. is actually mm -hmm. very good to carry on that. I like how now that this uh, it's been established, everyone's like, all right, so let's try and think of that. Phantom, thank you. <laughs> Pinching a crone isn't complete without Tiny Eddie's Lolan indigestion slices. Pinch me. Are you a crone? Don't I qualify? <laughs> Was that complete? <laughs> 
Well, no, I haven't had L T Tiny Eddie's Lowland Indigestion Slices. <laughs> what? Elizabeth from Super Yoshi says, you'll never expect this Tiny Eddie product. <laughs> nope. What is, an what is a sliced product that gives you indigestion? What What is known for causing... I don't know. <laughs> Beef jerky? <laughs> Lowland. Let's do some cooking for Unclever Title. Blood sausage. Yeah, Alex. Blood sausage. Tumbler glass, water... Mint, a tooth, olive. Oh, this is going to be special. Pan Galactic Gargle Blaster. You know, I don't love the phrase galactic gargle. Vagabond says, yes, who did this? I love it. It's a reference? I do not know the reference. Is it a hitchhiker reference? It's a reference to a book. It is a hitchhiker reference. Okay. It's been a very long time since I read Chaz that. Chaz says, we knew you wouldn't know it. Listen. When we get the Donna Summers cooking, I got you. When we got the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Mal got you. That's how this works. I haven't read it since high school. Unclever title, thank you. Let's do cooking for Finna Windfall. Coffee. Coffee waffle. <laughs> One coffle, please. That wouldn't be awful. I don't think that'd be awful. Cause like espresso infused waffle with that, like waffle syrup. It, it has some bitterness Not and waffle then the syrup. <laughs> coffee syrup. Well, because like that's sweet and bitter, so that works together. I would I would try that. I'd try a coffle. I'd eat myself a coffle. <laughs> Regenio, coffles, not awful. <laughs> Fenna Windfall, thank you. Let's do cooking for Link Mountaineer. <laughs> A little sneaky river snail, all hyped up on, on Coke. Escar cooked. That's very good. That's very good. There's a lot. It's true. A lot of my friends, um, Earthbound. Uh, A lot so of there's... my friends. Earthbound. A lot of my friends Earthbound, so like there's just, you know, there's going to be a lot of mother references. We already had Flint and Boney earlier. <laughs> Link Mountaineer, thank you. Let's do some cooking for Tech Absol. <laughs> All my friends Earthbound. A Thunderwing Butterfly and a Sunset Firefly. Thunderwing and <laughs> it's a lightning bug. I, I understand thunderbolt and lightning bug. Very very frightening bug. Galileo. Anyway, a thousand bits from Tech Absol. Thank you so much. <laughs> Galileo. Galileo. I tried. Uh, cook for Reed. Sure, what happened there? Bread, ham, egg, cheese, jam. That's a that's a sandwich. That's a yeah. I was I was like that. I couldn't. I didn't know what it was called, but I knew. I was like that's a sandwich. I just don't know what it's called. Monte Cristo. I don't know. If I've ever had one. I have. Thanks, Chaz. Yeah, I don't think I've ever. Had, maybe I have. If I've had, if I've had one, it's like one. I think I ever. had one at Disney. Oh when yes. We went with Josh. Yeah. I might have had a bite of yours or something. I don't know. It was I've, a lot. It's an actual sandwich. Mm -hmm. What's the? There's another sandwich that's similar. But it's not a Monte Cristo. It's like Madame. Oh, a croque monsieur. Uh, croque madame? Yeah. One has an egg. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't remember. Make them for us tomorrow. <sighs> I, I could try. Reed, thank you. We also had 23 months from Jet Jet 5. Appreciate it. There's two arts in the queue. Let me get this up on the big screen so you can see it a little bit better. <laughs> but what if... I 
I honestly, I just felt like I could. I remember that moment. I just feel yes. like I could have done it. Sapphire Becca. Yes. This is Don't accurate. look at him. Don't look at him. So, fun fact, uh, when I feed Kepler in the morning, part of the regiment to feeding him is to not look at him. You cannot look at him because he gets a pill and I crush up the pill and I put it in his wet food and Kep just doesn't, he doesn't want wet food anymore. He just really doesn't want it. He only wants dry food, but that's how I hide his pill. So I crush up the pill, I put it, and he really needs to eat the wet food. So I, I put the wet food down and then he'll walk over to it and like he'll look up at me and I cannot, I can't, <laughs> this is my cousin Kepler. He is a bad man, do not look at him. Thank you, Alex. Like if, if I look at him, he'll be like, <laughs> but if I don't look at him, he'll be like, and then he'll sniff it and start eating it. That's phase one of the boss battle. He'll eat it for a little bit and then he'll stop. That's whenever I get the um, bonito flakes <laughs> and I sprinkle some bonito, the, the bonito flakes on it and then he'll eat a little bit more. And then it's time for phase three. In phase three, you have to sprinkle a little dry food on it. And then um, in phase four, he's eaten most of it and then you just add a little bit of water and kind of stir it around just because you need to make sure it's moist in case he comes back to it. Yeah, it's uh, it's literal hell, but the alternative is shoving a pill, shoving in, his a pill in his mouth, mm -hmm. which is bad for us and bad for him. So I'm like, I'll just, I'll take the the minute, the four, the four minutes it takes to get through the, the boss battle. So it's fine. He has to get the pill. Like he'll like die if he doesn't have the pill. So I'm like, you have to have the pill. And instead of getting clawed and, and you getting stressed about coming into the kitchen at all, I'll just hide the pill and we'll we'll do it. It's going fine. All right, are you ready? Yes. It's a good it's a good tune. All right, hiding chat. Uh, going back to uh, the game. video game. We love video game. We love video game. All right. Let's see here. I guess... There's a book for you to read. I guess I should read this. This is Reju's Diary. I received an unsettling report from Buliara today. A strange haze, some have called it gloom, is emanating from beneath Hyrule Castle. Those who touch it fall ill. But my friends Zelda and Link are in Hyrule. I'm sure that those two can get to the bottom of this problem. A new, much more worrying report has arrived. Both Link and Zelda have gone missing while exploring below Hyrule Castle. Shortly after they were lost, the castle lifted off into the sky where it was joined by countless small floating islands. So much happening all at once. What's going on in the world, and are those two safe? Things grow more and more dire across Hyrule, and now the danger has come here as well. A sand shroud, the worst sandstorm in recent history, has uh, covered the area. People are taking shelter underground. We traveled out to see if we could discern the cause of it, but we were ambushed by new monsters called Gibdos. To make matters worse, I wasn't able to accurately hit them with the lightning I can call down. We're inundated with those seeking safety from the sand shroud or the Gibdos, and we still don't know what has caused this. As the chief of Gerudo Town, I am to blame for these failures. The fortifications protecting the shelter are strong. There's no way the monsters will be able to break through. We're also lucky to have a good source of water in the shelter, but we must watch for invaders trying to use the waterways. And as a precaution, we should cover the hole behind the throne. Interesting. Hole... Good to know. Okay. Sitting here feeling sorry for myself won't solve anything. I'm going to give Buliara in charge of the... I'm going to leave Buliara in charge of the shelter and go train. The ruins to the north aren't too far. They should be the perfect place for me to practice with my lightning. Despite my worries for my people and for the world, I must do what I can. I know that's what Zelda would advise me to do. Oh, Lady Urbosa, if only you were here with us. Watch over us all in these dark times and keep Zelda and Link safe. So a few things. Eventually, we're going to have to be heading north. Yes, that's, that's where the marker is. Okay, so we're eventually going to be going there. Uh -huh. There's a thing behind the throne room. And there's also, um, wait, this might be one. You think so? Maybe. It's kind of on a little pedestal. Take a photo. Yeah. 
Although, wouldn't it give us a little... It would. Yeah, this is probably not it, then. Okay. Um, there's nothing in here. All right, going up. Oh, between a rock and a rock. The... Where is? Up higher. Oh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I wonder if that hurts his head. You made it. I did make it. Yeah, so before we head north, because eventually we will want to yes. head north, but before we head we north... We should check behind the throne. We should check behind the throne and try and get into that store in town. Because the, yeah. the mom isn't in the shelter, so she's in the store. Mm -hmm. We just have to figure out what the map layout is to get up there. And by we, I oh, mean... Oh, look, we got lucky. The I mean Gibdos you. can be affected by elements, they said. Like fire. So... That's how I killed him. Yeah. Just accidentally, I was like, this thing needs to break. Yeah. So if we would have used normal weapons, we would have been screwed. Also, I didn't read what this thing was. It's called Buried Light. Buried Light. Cool. Uh, this probably... I love it. <laughs> Uh, badly damned, it's fine. This thing is gonna, it's gonna die anyway. Yeah, okay, so this is how we can get rid of piles of sand. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not sure where the sand is going. <laughs> sand has to go somewhere, it seems to just kind of... eyes. Yeah, <laughs> all of it into his body. Drink it up, buddy. It's the key. key! You're coming with me. Possibly. <laughs> this could be like a weapon. Hair dryer attack! Oh, he sees you. You're in trouble. I'm in trouble. He left me a horn. I see. Why did it hop? Mm -hmm. That was a weird little... One hop this time. Is there another enemy? What about enemy? the corner? What about the corner? Yeah, there is another enemy, because that's the sound of enemy. That jerk. You think I can get him? No, but he can get you. I can get him. Nice hit. What about the corner? Corner. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. corner. <gasps> I'm awesome. You are awesome. There's another There's one in here. There's an extra fan. Okay. What if I just turn it on while it's in it? It will not work. Wanted to catch it. <laughs> rip, 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 rip. This entire thing is about like. <gasps> Look at your friend. I made friend. Uh, rude. Your sword broke. Good. But you can take his, his uh, fan guster. Fan guster. It probably helps you destroy the. Uh, there's a. Yeah, that's something, isn't it? Yeah. I believe so. Whee! Yeah, 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 yeah. So now this can move and opens up chest. What you got? Sure. Okay. We haven't had to buy arrows in a long time. Yeah. Nothing else here. Nope. This was just a little extra room. Well, maybe you needed that to, like, move something for that gear also. Um, no. no. You just gotta shine the light onto the thing. 
Shine the light, shine the light. Won't you shine the uh, mm, yeah. That goes that way. Mm -hmm. Is this a light? What? It's a, the mirror. Okay, so there's no light coming in, so no. I need to... Where did I leave that fan? So let's put this here. You needed to have it back a little bit. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Whee! So there must be a way to get some light. Okay. Well, before I use up all my fan guster. Yeah. <laughs> let me gust this. Turn on a fan with a fan. Thanks, exhibit. There's your light. So there's the light. God, that's... I think that would blind you. It's a little much. My friends would say that looks like our kitchen. We gotta replace one of those light bulbs. <laughs> With another high lumen <laughs> variant. Alright, let's put this... Um, Shine it back down into itself. I'm not, I don't remember what was over there for me to like. How do you get through there though? Position, well. Oh. Well, I can fan back up. Yeah, you could fan back up. I don't, yeah, I don't remember where this is. That's not even making its way over no. there. You need okay. to aim it more to the right. Yeah. Can I do that without having to do? You need to be up there to see it. No, I don't. That works. This isn't going to work. It's got to be on the ground. Can you... Maybe. Can I just put it here? I don't know. Because, like, what's the, what's the point of this thing? Yeah. That's weird. But, like, if I don't have a... Let me see if I can just move it. Because I'm not sure I completely... I'm not sure I completely understand... What the... Oh, just go up. <gasps> okay, this works too. This is better. This is way better. Oh, son of a... What? No, no! It's a dome, so you well, need to have it... Well, I'll do it good. Oh, no. No. No, but no, just kind of centered. Oh, it's better than it has been. I know, but it needs a little bit. This is, this is not how you do this. No. It must be the top thing. But I wasn't sure how that worked. Oh, God. My, my beam's all wiggly. What? On, okay, if I put it up there, where does it... How, if, if it's shining up, how do I? I think you should put it up and then go see what you can do. I know what I can do from here. The only thing I can possibly think of is putting <laughs> it over a mirror fan. on a fan. <laughs> and like, that's not it. Could be. I can, test, like... I can test that theory here. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, I... Well, it very obviously wants it on the thing, because otherwise it wouldn't put the thing there and have it shine the light through. I know, I just, I'm not... This is much harder than it... I'm, I'm sure once we figure it out, we'll be like, oh, well, of course. But, like, it's in the air. Go back over there. I, I don't... <laughs> I think it's a waste of time to go over there. 
I mean, I'll do it because you seem so adamant about it, but I'm just, I, what am I supposed to do once I get over there? I can see from here that it's against a wall. Okay, so I'm going over. Do you need that fan? I mean, no, there's a fan over here. Okay. That fan was in here. Wait a minute! I can ultra hand! Can't see what I'm doing. Thanks, game. See, I was wondering if there was some like thing you were not thinking about. Like if there was something you saw that I didn't that made that not work originally. No. I just like forgot. Because I'm seeing it up in the air, and I'm like, there, we can't... It, there's no platform up there. There's no platform. How are we going to do this? And, like, I completely forgot that we can literally lift objects with our yeah. minds. Yeah. It's okay. Everybody forgets Cryonis. Okay, um... Take over. I don't deserve that. So we got two things to check out before we head north. Hole behind the throne. And secret shop. Can you get back into the throne from here? Yeah. Okay. That's, so this is the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, so you need to go down one. Secret hole, secret hole. That's the secret hole. Oh my god. What's it called? What's it called? Sand Seal Statue Shield. You just see stuff and you're like, I want that. Anyway, you're here now. Oh, so this is how you, okay. That was that hole. Got it. So now, go back to the thing, I guess, and try and figure out, oh, are you going back up? I wanted to go around town. Oh, okay. It's. It seems like everything is closed and it's full of Gibdos. So, I don't know how much exploration you're going to get a chance to do, but... Well, isn't this where the the shops are? I... Or do you think they're the ones down in there? What are you talking about? Everyone's in the shelter. What, I'm trying to understand what you're trying to do. Well, I thought the shop was out. I mean, it is out, but, like, I don't, I don't think that you can access it from outside. Maybe you can. Where could who be? Where did the owner, hmm. Oh, you're the chief's guest. So this is a vow. His ears look to be about the circumference of his head and neck. Interesting. I, oh, I'm sorry. You're the first vow I've ever seen. I get a little carried away figuring out your measurements. Why was I doing that? Because I make accessories, and the key to any good accessory is the perfect fit. My name's Kara. I haven't had a lot of opportunities to make accessories for a Vaux, so if you give me the chance, I'll put everything I've got into making some really great ones for you. If this shop's owner were here, she probably could have made you all sorts of things. But she went out to look for potential adornments and hasn't come back since. She was in such high spirits, too, gushing about all the treasures she'd find around the Taruma Dunes. That's a dangerous place, though. Mulduga territory. Hope she didn't run into trouble. You like my shield? I took your thing! Anyway, did you need something? 
The owner may not be here, but I'll do what I can. <laughs> We're the only place in the whole world that makes accessories. All right, so... Yeah, so like... Where was that? It was inside... Yeah. So my theory is that you have to get into the thing from the bottom. And if I'm wrong, then at least you'll be close to it. Like, maybe you do just walk in it, into it from town. I don't know. But my theory has been that you have to approach from the bottom. So... Moon, jewelry, melon, mushroom. Yeah. Melon. Mushroom. And you're trying to get to the moon. Right? Did we go in here? No. <laughs> what the crap is this? We just missed this entire... All right, we'll come back to the moon thing. Yeah, but we know it right now. Oh, it's that you, lake. You say we, but, like, I don't know anything. Oh. Sure, I'll voice her. Oh, you're that special Vo the guard was talking about. My name is Ashai. I'm in charge of teaching the Vo and you class to the Gerudo. <laughs> have you set your heart on someone special? I have. <laughs> you don't hold anything back, do you? Most Vi value honesty in a Vo. That's a good trait for you to have. You're welcome to sit down on a lesson if you're interested. Vo aren't normally allowed in town, so it would be a rare treat for the class if you showed up. Maybe you could come by in the evening? That class is for the older Gerudo. The daytime class is for the younger students. I don't think they're quite ready to meet the Vaux. Well, is it's it, 9.20. This must be the class, so I guess just... Is this not the class? Maybe just talk to her again. Mm -hmm. It's only for students who are willing to engage. If you're interested, you're welcome to join, but you'll have to participate. Hi. Okay, everyone, pay attention. Today, we're going to have a very special lesson. We have a Vaux here with us. Just try to relax and be your regular normal selves when you're talking to him. All right. Oh. Nolly, I know you can do this. Mm, teacher, I, I... I can't. I can't look directly at his face. Oh. That's okay. We can stop here for now. Mm. You will have to do something about that fear eventually. But I think once you muster your courage to face a foe, a, 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 a vo, even just one time, your fear will wash away forever. <sighs> I'm sorry. I imagine that was a bit unexpected, wasn't it? You see, she's never seen a vo in person. She's only seen them in drawings or in recreations like the vo dummies. Mm -hmm. I suspect that if you hid your face, it would be easier. It's probably just too early to make eye contact while chatting. I hope you aren't feeling discouraged, though. It would be wonderful if you visited class again. <laughs> Sark's overtaking the time today. Do you think if you put on a helmet, you can continue this? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Maybe it'll work. Hi. Okay, everyone. Blah, blah, blah. We have to vote. We have to try and relax. We really know ourselves. All right. I mean, it might not count because, like, you can see the face. Yeah, I wanted that to work so bad. But, yeah, I think you're going to have to wear, like, an actual helmet. If you wear a helmet, though, I think it, it'll work fine. But I wanted the Bokoblin mask. I know, mask. I know. Please hide your face. Uh, we have... That's Yeah, that's the only thing we have. But that... Mm, that's definitely hiding our face. If you're interested in you're going to have to come in. Okay, everyone, pay attention. We're going to have to play with our rabbits again. Nah, I know you can do this. All right, this time she can do it. Hey, I can talk to him like this. So, um, hi, my name is Nolly. I make an amazing wildberry crepe, and I hope to share one I've made with the Vo someday. All right, that's enough. Amazing job, Nolly. 
Vo are known to think with their stomachs sometimes, so mentioning your cooking was a good idea. They're especially susceptible to sweets, so well done with the wild berry crepe. Oh. Sark, so to you as well. It was very kind of you to conceal your face for Nolly. It seems like that's just the thing she needed to get past her anxiety and talk to you. Mm -hmm. You are more than welcome to return to the class in the future. I, I bet you have to, like, systematically do different things. Yeah. To help all of the Gerudo. Oh, here's the... Mm. For the map. Okay. Sava, I guess it's true. I heard the guards talking about it, but I didn't believe a Vo was actually here. I'm impressed you made it all the way here through the sand shroud. Oh, did you rent a sand seal to get here? Nope. What? You didn't rent one? No, oh, he couldn't have found a wild one. The sand shroud has made it almost impossible to track them down. Does that mean he walked? That's even harder to believe in him finding a wild sand seal. Oh, a Vo! Are all of you such pranksters? You obviously must have rented one from the shop near the entrance to the desert. It's the only answer that makes sense. Sark so for your business. My mom and I are in the business of training sand seals and renting them out to folks. The sand trout has made it too far too dangerous to go above ground right now, so my shop is temporarily closed. But if you've got questions about sand seals, I'm happy to answer them. There's those little guys. More. <laughs> this place is way bigger than we thought it was. Yeah, is this another entrance? I think so. This leads into something else. Hmm. I hope the chief is okay. Maybe I should go after her, but I'm just the attendant to Patricia. I would be acting against her wishes, too. If I were to go, though, I could just go through here. It comes out at the northern ruins, and that's where the chief was headed. Who, Patricia? A sand seal. Oh, oh my apologies. Patricia is the chief's beloved sand seal. You've heard of sand seals, right? They're desert creatures that can navigate the dunes with amazing ease. Have you seen my shield? And Patricia is a very special one. She seemingly has the power of an oracle. Or she did. Ever since the upheaval, she's mostly just been sharing these strange numbers. I've been her attendant for years now, but even I can't make sense of this turn of events. She's off with the chief right now. They headed out to the northern ruins. If you want to speak with Patricia, you'll probably have to wait until things have settled down and the chief isn't so busy. Uh, so when we're ready to head to the Northern Ruins, we can take this route. Yeah. I'm glad we found this before we were like, well, through the desert. Okay. Wait, I think you missed something. Hmm. That way. As long as the sand shred is around, we can't rent out any sand seals. Maybe I should look at me coming to attendant to Lady Regis' beloved sand seal. Pata's looking after Patricia, but she's a soldier, too. Bye. Oh, look what you found. Okay, 50 bucks! Thanks. There's another pile of sand behind you. I saw it. One circle, two circle. This. Oh, are these all the things? The Fire. eight things? Eight, yeah. Some. Yeah. These might be important at some point. Yeah. But I don't know. All right. Do you know how to get to Moon? <laughs> or not? Nah? I probably. So there's that. There's the class here, and then we show up here, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I need to see the thing again. That's where I'm going. Okay. So, it's, it's, okay. So it's you, not a square like it is out there. There is melon. Mm -hmm. There is jewel. Mm -hmm. There is mushroom. There is moon. Okay. Okay, I got it. I saw it with my eye. I can figure it out now. Melon. There is melon and jewel. There is there's there's melon and jewel and mushroom. So melon and then jewel to the left of melon. What? Where is jewel? 
Isn't this jewel? That's... See jewel above my head? And that's melon. Mm -hmm. Melon was to the right and jewel was to the left. And then mushroom was down here. That's... But that... that but that's Here's backwards. Mushroom. What? That's... But no, turn the camera... Is that backwards? That's backwards. Is it backwards? No, it's not. No, yeah, it is. Cause on the on the on the painting it was melon jewel. Mm-hmm. But here it's jewel melon. I don't know. Just like I don't know, go try whatever you think. Cause like I I don't I don't know I, maybe it is in reference to the above ground stores, and not this. Cause if it's in reference to the above ground stores, then then this has nothing to do with any. I don't know. There's a little hole. What was that little hole? What was that little hole? Can you get closer to the little hole? Can you can you climb it? Can you like squeeze? Oh yeah, I can climb. That's all right. I forgot Ultra Hand. You forgot you had hands. Oh, there's oh, a thing. Oh, but it doesn't show up until you're up there. Oh. Nice. I don't think this is it. No, it did. Yeah. Well, this isn't the right place, but it let you do this. You can move that now, and then it'll be easier. Or you can make another weird shield. So this is the classroom. Yes. You can... I mean, if you want to see if it's possible to enter from the outside... Maybe it is. I, I've, I've been under the assumption it's been from the the underground, but the layout doesn't make sense. It doesn't match the image. So it must be outside because the inside it does it's backwards. And they wouldn't invert the map because that would be insane. Sorry, I needed to do this. Alright. Well Because, like, this was all the shops in the last game. Yeah. I've been married to the idea the whole time that we had to enter from the, the underground, but now I've abandoned that idea because it doesn't match the thing. And I guess you might run into a Gibdo. Maybe. But if you do, if you do, if you do, um, you can kill him. So here is clothing. There is diamond. And it was, it was behind the jewelry shop. Although, I don't know where the melons were sold. Was the melons like to the right of it maybe? So like over here? Well, I'm looking for more signs of what is out here. Cause this has nothing. Yeah. This has nothing. You might not, you might not find it. Fashion. Yeah, but that wasn't on the map. No, it wasn't. Do I have any more fire? I have ice. Yeah, you can use that. That's sand seal stuff. Let me get rid of this guy. <laughs> you did it. He's dead. think you can break him now that he's ice? I kind of do. We should probably do it before he thaws. Also, I don't know that they require elements. I don't know. Maybe they do. About elements. Assuming that to the right of that was mm -hmm. the the melon shop, it's like over here somewhere. 
Hotel. That's the moon. Oh, the hotel is the moon? Yes. I've been trying to get us to the moon. Where the crap is this? That was the, oh, it was the drawing of the child. Yes. Oh, I didn't look at that at all. That's the other direction. That's this way. Also, I kind of just vaguely remember where it was from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> it's this direction. I don't know why I just didn't, okay. I guess it is hard to kill yeah. them without first doing a an elemental touch. Yeah, this it's literally the door that we, the first place we went where we talked to people and there were people inside. You know what we need to do? What? That's so easy. Hmm. We just like set a pin and then go underground and go up. We're sorry, we're out of time. You have to you, please please get on the ground, please. <laughs> Sir! Down on the ground! <laughs> Sir! When I end the episode half the time, you're like, what if I just climb? What if I just climb? What if I just climb? Just you, what are you gonna do? Stop me? You can't. You can't stop me. I just climb things. There was a train. There was a tra there was a train while we were in the wow. Okay. Well that's something. Just sing Sand Seal Statue Shield. Oh, that's... Sand Seal Statue Shield, 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 Oh, gotta go a little slower. Sand Seal Statue Shield. Oh, Sand Seal Statue Shield. It did get harder. Yeah, it did. It was too easy, so I did double time, and then I was like, ah, that got that got more difficult. It did get more. So difficult. six thousand from Reed it says, just sing Sand Seal, Sand, Sand Seal, Sand Statue, Seal Shield. Statue Shield. I had it at the beginning, and then it got more difficult. Yeah, it's because you decided to do it twice as fast. Well, it's mm -hmm. because I was like, this is too easy. I can do this. We had twelve months from Meatball One Three Two, and uh, oh. Here's, oh, there's another song coming. Sing about your sand steel statue shield. My sand steel statue shield is a really real big deal. I use it out in the field to block all the gibdos from hitting my face. I like to not get hit. If I do, then I don't fit into my clothes, right? Because my body's mangled. Sand shield statue shield saved me. It saved me, so I do not pee my pants from fright. That's real bad. I've ruined so many pants. I <laughs> just want you to know I'm so glad that you did go up to the statue and attach it to the shield to make the sand statue shield. That's a length the pants ruiner. God, those never, those never get easier. Those are always mm -hmm. difficult. That was 9500 from Link Mountaineer who said, sing about your sand seal statue shield. 6000 from Grobbly says, continue. When I was a young boy, I dreamed of having a seal. I thought that would be so great, it would be a great deal. Instead, when I got older, I found one out of concrete. I glued it to my shield. Thank God I didn't glue it to my feet. Glued it to my feet. It's probably concrete. Stone. I guess they don't have concrete. What is concrete? It's, what is um, concrete? Um. It's like. Oh, I know. I know this, this also. Yeah, it's like uh, you take a thing and you put another thing in it. Yeah. You put like a thing in it. Is there a lie involved? Yeah, it's like you gotta do, it's like a, it's like you gotta do a thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alex, <laughs> what are the materials? But what are the materials? I need, I need to know. By the break of June. It was 6,000 from Grabobli who just said, continue. We also, <laughs> we also had 48 months from Cherry Blossom 91. Congratulations on the four. Uh, yeah, there was like a whole hype train.
Sing about Ultra Hand. Steven's gonna tell us about Ultra Hand. It is great. How do you use it? You ch you use it too late. <laughs> and what else can you do with it? It can hold it high. And then you can not have to fly. Because you can't put shield on fan that doesn't work. We tried it, did the research, sorry, wouldn't work. We had to do it another way. Uh-huh. You know, sometimes you forget about the abilities, and I did. I feel a little embarrassed that I forgot about Ultra Hand. <laughs> it's like Ultra Hand's kind of like a staple yeah. of like the entire game but i forgot i forgot anyway it's five thousand bits from little light one it says sing about ultra ham done anise gifted a sub to ruby uh we had Yeah. 1600 bits from Phantom. <laughs> Three months from Rosy Strangers and 32 months from Psychodon 904. <sighs> I did one hop this time. Ah! There's also two 16 arts. 16 hops this time. <laughs> yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Check out this art. Oh my god, that's a lot of text. <laughs> it was more than 20 weeks later. Remembering anything is hard. Remembering it for 20 months is impossible. This is very funny. Donner Party of Five. Donner Party of Five. Donner Party of Four. We got hungry while waiting. <laughs> anyway, um, when I was. Uh, When I was 16, actually, yeah, when I was 16, that was about the time there was an Outback Steakhouse in North Myrtle Beach that had a PlayStation in the, like, the waiting area with a, a tiny TV and a copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. And, uh... Where is this story going? Nowhere. Oh, is it supposed to have, like, a meaning? <laughs> Sorry. 1600 bits from the light one says, One final scare as I head to bed. Night, y'all. And Steven? Sorry, not sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Thanks for... Thanks, everybody, for uh, helping me work my glutes. That's part of the things that I am supposed to do. So, I appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, okay, we do have time for one more. Yeah. Uh, one more session! One more session! Mm-hmm. Session. A session? Mm-hmm. Not one more 16, one more session. Thank you, Reed, who wrote, one more time. One more session. So we can beat Zelda in 2024, not 2025. Okay. Now, 
it's time to figure out if this is how we get into the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot you did this to me. All right. Um, so we need to get in here. Well, what if you check the roof first? What? Also, where's the pin? I don't know, because we stepped on it. And it went oh, away. that's why. So you should check up first before you. Okay, I will. But while I'm here, I could just put the thing on it. So this is the place. Yes. Look, there's someone there. Yeah, you actually might be right. Let's see here. Do you have a cobbler mask on? Shh, shh, not so loud. I can hear voices. They're coming from below. Something about a secret? Could this be the reason the ghosts haven't moved on? Is there a secret about the monsters that doubtlessly killed them? <laughs> I don't I don't think that's it. This sand I think they're just this sand is part you. of Yeah. This sand is part of the environment. So you, you I'm right. To, yeah. Well, Yay. I wanted you to check that first before you went and Put a stamp, because then the stamp's not going to go away. Yeah. Um, this is it. Sure. Okay, so all i got to do... Let's go back underground. Go back underground. You can go straight from, out. like, under the throne room. You just, like, phase through that. Nothing phases me. Even phasing through things? That's the only thing. You still need to obey the rules. <laughs> Unbearable heat. All right, so I just have to like navigate this to get over there. Is it this way? Uh, Is it this way? Look at your map. of silent statues. Uh, this does not loop around, does it? No. No, I don't think it does. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You could, uh, recall that. Yeah. I have to be like standing on yeah. it. I can't. Which way did it fall? You can uh, thank me for that brilliance. Thank you. Nothing like going to stretch your legs and ending up in the strangest place. Everything looks the same down here. It would be so easy to get turned around. I wonder if the people who originally made this place got lost in it all the time, too. Uh, what do you want? Were you lurking in the shadows there, eavesdropping on what I was saying? Oh, you're that Vo everyone's been talking about, right? If I were younger, I might have been surprised to see you here, but at my age, well... Very little surprises me. Disappointed that I wasn't shocked and aghast at the very sight of you? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go. I'm feeling a little parched, so maybe something to drink at the canteen. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna try... To go to, another way, just to, to see? Just to see. But if not, then, like... Then I'm not sure. Um, they talked about they blocked the entrance with a crate... So, like, maybe it's possible to blow up the crate from the outside or something? Well. That's not my first thought, but I'm not sure. So, we're going to, like, you know. Let's see. Where? Which way is it? This way. 
Let's go back here. We need to... It's northeast. Yeah. What's this room? Oh my god, we've never been here! What the heck is this? Vasak, uh, oh, you must be the Vo everyone's been talking about. No, normally wouldn't have anything for youngsters like you, but I've heard a new Vi is going to be coming to town sometime soon. That news sparked a fire in me. I came up with a special version of my signature drink. It's one everybody from Vedvi to Vawa can enjoy. However, I can't get my hands on what I need to make it while we're stuck here. And I don't want to forget the recipe. Hmm. When is a sand shroud going to clear up anyway? So there's just like... This must be the canteen. Yeah. So you know the Vo that's been locked up in jail? Oh, oh the one that used to sand shroud to sneak into town? Mm. What about him? Mm. A little while ago, I went to grab something from that shelf over there. And while I was standing there, I swear I heard someone say Aklet. Mm. Hey, I've heard Aklet before. I think that's the name of Pedra's Vedhi. Mm. You know, the jail was just on the other side of that wall. The wall behind the shelf, I mean. I've been wondering if maybe it's Perda's husband locked up in there. If that was the case, Perda would have realized it by now, wouldn't she? She's working at the Druida Secret Club, so she's not in the shelter. Maybe that's why she hasn't heard. Hmm. Most everyone has been avoiding eye contact with this Vo, including me. Okay. That shelf? One of these shelves. Oh, oh yeah, right there. You gotta... Or that. <laughs> Where? What? What? Take this. Take this. It's on the other side of the thing. Is it above me? Yeah. Well, I can get into the jail. Oh, there's another tablet. Okay. This is good. This is something we haven't been able to do yet. Uh, tablet, good. So the tablet that has the the thing yep. on it. Cool. The orb. The orb. We love we orb. We can ponder it. Scared the crap out of this guy. Huh? You... Where did you come from? Must be nice to be able to come and go as you please. Meanwhile, I'm just in this cell. It isn't all bad, though. I'm able to see my daughter Aklet every day, from a distance anyway, but I haven't seen Perda at all. It's been a little tough on the old spirit. She told me once that she planned to work at the clothing store in Gerudo Town, but I haven't seen her walking by. Aklet probably knows something, if only I could speak to her. No one likes a loud, annoying prisoner. Still, while I'm curious, as long as they're both happy and healthy, I'm happy too. So... That's his bed. This doesn't help me either, though. Hi, I'm in jail. How'd you get in there? That's obviously a jail cell, not a place for visitors. Only prisoners are supposed to be in there, like that Vo who tried to get into town. But you... You're the chief's guest, aren't you? The fact that you got in there, on purpose or by accident, without me knowing would be embarrassing, so get out of there before anyone sees you. Come on. Help, I'm in jail. Help. Yeah, did I do that? <laughs> uh, okay. That did not tell us... I'm in the wrong... Where do I... So... Like, the marker is where it is. We yes, marked it. We so did. we know. But there's nothing in this area that lets you get there. This is I not mean, the right there either I mean, there either isn't, or we are idiots. I'm not sure which it is. But I, there's nothing that, like... So here's the thing. When we came into town where the bottles were... Yes. That was near that shop. Upstairs. Oh. Oh, so you think it's like... Yeah. Oh. Uh, You're contaminating their water supply. I think it's fine. Oh, this is... Uh, yeah. Does this go? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah, this is like the one place we haven't gone. There might be stuff down here, too. Yes, look at this stuff. So, the stream splits. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Son of a gun. God. And also this. Why isn't Darian, or whatever his name is, here? <laughs> what is this? Darian, I don't know. 
What is this? Well. Piss. How do I... Do I have anything else that's a, a good... No. I'll have to shoot it. You know how I feel about that. I'm gonna blow myself up. I just... Let me... Let me kind of... Oh, I can't do it on the... Ah. All right. You're fine. I'm you're really fine. close. This is... This you're is, fine. I'm not fine, Mal. You know I'm not. Do it. It's you, fine. I know. You just want me to blow up. I'm waiting for the crevice. There. That was good. All right. Here we go. Where on earth... Do I not have a weapon for this? That? Does that do it? What? Nope. <laughs> what is hard? You don't have anything. What is hard? The pulverizer. Oh, that's my pulverizer, though. Does this not do it? <laughs> I don't think I have anything that does it. <laughs> Me. <laughs> okay. No, none of these things do What about do that? It. What, this? The pulverizer. The pulverizer might do it. If I find a rock, I can just link it to this. Yeah. But I don't see any rocks. Okay, let me just shoot it again. I don't want to spend time doing that. Here's, Here's a, rock. a rock. Okay, see, that was easy. Uh, let me fuse it. What? Ah! Yeah. Is this leading us to the store? It's getting you closer. What does it take? Here's another bad thing. Oh, here's some. That's uh, that's real stuff. I think this goes anywhere. That's real stuff. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. To... That's real stuff. <laughs> Tiny Eddie presents. <laughs> this is under it, ish. Yeah. And then there's some water. Okay, this is this is it. This is it. This is it. You can uppies here. Finally, God, what a journey. Ta-da! Client list check. Products check. Hmm. Uh, hello? But the door is blocked. How did you? <sighs> Never mind. It's it's our rule to not to pry into the business of our customers. You're welcome in our shop, no matter how you manage to make it inside. This is the Gerudo Secret Club, the only shop in town that sells clothing designed with Vo in mind. Considering Vo aren't allowed in town, I'm sure you can understand why the shop is a secret. Anyway, that's how we run our business. We're not concerned with who you are. As an outcast myself, I appreciate your business. So, oh, your husband's here. Safsaba. Elsewhere it might be Savada or Savak, but here it's always Safsaba. With the town so quiet right now, even I was beginning to feel a little bit lonely. I normally enjoy alone time, but... Having someone nearby lately has brought a little peace of mind. I wasn't sure for a while if I wanted to hire Perda, but now I feel like I couldn't get by without it. Perda's, Perda's the, the one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Let me look at what they have. Boots. Sand speed up. Boots and pants and boots and pants. Yeah. The 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 problem is, and that gives us snow pants. So the, the problem is this is a ton of money. But we may be able to sell some things because mm -hmm. it might be nice to have sand. Do they boots. have anything else? Um, are you Perda? They do have other things. Basak, I was not expecting a vote to suddenly appear right before my eyes. Nearly made me jump out of my skin. I should thank you though. I had a crick in my back, but the shock of your arrival seems to have fixed it. <laughs> my husband is a highly in vote too. Imagine if he'd been the one suddenly appearing. But obviously he isn't allowed into town. Since it's customary for Gerudo to return to town at a certain age, our daughter and I moved back here. Mm. I warned my husband several times that Vo were not allowed inside the town and we were sometimes jailed, but... Well, he insisted on traveling with us all the way here and I saw him eyeing the town walls when we parted ways. Wobbin, I wonder what you're up to right now. Anyway, once you're done shopping, you better get out of town before any of the guards catch you. Wow, so we can't even, like, let her know? Sorry, I forgot an important rule of the secret club. Everyone's business is their own. You'll be safe from the guards here, so feel free to take all the time you need to look at the things we sell. Okay. What's this one? Heat resistance. <sighs> okay, this is more important, probably. Right now? What's next to it? Heat resistance. We probably want these more than anything. Although sand speed up would be great. Mm -hmm. Finishing a set is really good. Yeah. 
So let me start by seeing if I can sell some things. Buy from me. I, w I won't be paying more. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to. Um, Cooking. I cooked this egg. Is it? I mean, I forget that you can sell like yeah. foods that you make. That's interesting. Um, okay, what's worth a lot? We have thirty-eight ambers. Okay. Were they only worth ten? Some topazes. This is not sorted by value. Let's sort by value. You can't. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Neat. Love that okay. for us. Well. So I'm going to vote. The stones tend to be worth a lot. That we do the stone. Those are only worth two. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking for a big number. Uh, 110. 150. We have a ton of these. Yeah. So we're going to sell. Two. Three. Three. Okay. Um, we have four of these. So we could sell some of these. Yeah. I know that some of this stuff, though, is going to, the the yeah. fairy is going to be like, you need to have your stuff. Yeah. Exactly. So that's a worry of mine of like, well, crap. Because like we have diamonds. Yeah. We have one ruby, so don't get rid of that. We have. This is enough money to buy those things, although sure. we will be out of money. Well. Right? How much was it? 13 and 600? Yeah. So it's 1900? We could sell like two of these. We have 1900. We have 2000. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's okay. what we have oh, enough. See. I'm just curious if there's anything else in here that's worth, worth a lot. Some of the mm -hmm. horns. Uh, Lionel Saber horn. Okay, that maybe. 40. I mean, these are worth 25. The, the hoof is 50. So basically, go kill Lionels. <sighs> Go kill Lionel, Steven. Killing, I mean, killing monsters does... I mean, some of this mm -hmm. stuff is worth some money. Mm -hmm. But most of it's the stones. Oh. Okay. Let's, um... This. Oh. Oh. Sure. Cool. Oh. And this. Oh, it was 650. Oh. We got enough. We have money. Yeah. Oh. Um, the only other thing... How much were the boots? Were they really expensive? Yeah. We can't do that. We can come back later. Is there anything else in here? No, but you can uppies out of here. Or that. Just take the door. I guess, like, that <laughs> makes the... They'll probably survive. It, I... Anyway, the important thing is we got clothes. That's the important thing. So now that yes. we've done all of this... You're going to put the clothes on because it's hot? I mean, it's not currently hot, but yeah. Well, the second we leave town. I mean, so the thing that we need to do... Yes. ...is head to Northern Ruins, right? Yes. So we have to go back down in, mm -hmm. go to the thing that I had seen a second ago. Okay. You, you didn't need to talk to her. You have to talk to her to get her to open the door. You do? Yeah. I thought you just had to walk up to mm -hmm. it. No, she opens the door. Here, you can have this while I'm thinking about it. If I saw a photo... Here we go! Look what I found. The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo. Their power is housed within the seven spirits. Curious, does this mean that the seven heroines' power have changed form even now that they're gone? And what could it mean by and what could be meant by spirits? Alcohol. What if sp spirits refers to orbs like this one? Salton, I believe I've made a breakthrough. Mm. I'm curious about what might be written on the stele. Do you have any more to show me? No. No. Nope. What's the symbol on that orb? That was a symbol on one of them. Fire. Yeah. I would call that fire. All right. So the way. The way, the way, the way, the way out of here was, was the, yeah, past the, way, to the left. And then this, nope, not the right, the no, left. Was it the, the, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right, though. Um, I cannot shield surf on this thing. Why not? Um, because it's a big old th thing. So I'm going to shield surf on this. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Okay, fine. Be that way. Dang it. 
Oh, yeah, put this thing back. Oh. That was nice of me. Yeah, that was very kind. Um, if I... Now that I know that it's gonna, like, collapse... Because, like, what's down there? Pots. <laughs> um, I could probably... Hell yeah. Thank you, Tulin. Skip that. Look at those bomb flowers. I guess I do want this. Amber. I mean, we need money. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we were so happy with ourselves. Are we going to need this? We were so happy with ourselves. Ooh. Yeah, we are going to need this. Because we had collected some, some oh, dollars. Is. Yeah. But then we... Now we don't have any dollars. Okay, so this is going to be a whole thingy. I'll just sit this here for now. Uh, so we're going to need several of these. But you have to figure it out. Powerful attacks when you're down to the last heart. <laughs> hey. Maybe. Nope. I guess that's why they gave you that one bomb flower. It's so bright. Let the sun shine. Let the sun shine. The Are there more? Oh, there's this too. Oh, God. Well, there must be more mirror shields. Probably. I, I mean, assume they, so. They might ask you to use your own, but like, probably not. That's going to fall. Yeah. And I don't think there's a mirror shield over there. Oh, okay, you're doing it. Oh, but there's a path. Ah. We like path. Oh snap! Yeah. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's I'm some money. I'm just gonna money. take a peek. No. Yeah, yeah. I think Link said too many spirits. Oh, we're finding some 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 real rocks here. Oh, you made a friend. Did I though? Bouncy Claymore! That's a good action shot. Yeah. Got him! Keep dope on. Link. <laughs> Don't forget, you also have Alfredo with you in case you want to... I know, wanna... but he sends it all over the place. It's true. Is so... this... This is the way I need to be going, but this isn't solving that light puzzle. So... Huh. I mean, <sighs> you can solve it. I know, but like, do I want to? What if I just want to do this? I mean, you tend to be the person who loves puzzle. I'm I'm actually a little surprised that you're abandoning the puzzle. What if it gives you something good? Is this above the puzzle? No, this is out. That guy is uh just chilling. Bye, friend. So you have light. Light's mm -hmm. great. Light is great. I love light. Mhm. Mm so I am here, and that thing is gone. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, that's good. I only ever saw one mirror shield. Although, mm. no, you are you are gonna need two, aren't you? <laughs> hey, don't forget you can ultra hand it. Oh, I know I can. <sighs> yeah, we never found another mirror, so I guess just use them. Because we have them, right? Yeah. Zonai. We have four. The bottom left corner. But you should only need two... 
right? Oh, actually, if you just you could probably hit it from here. That that's one. what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Put it in front of you, and then put it direct. Put it directly in front of you, and then move your body. Yeah. Oh, you were doing it. Don't move it. But what does it mean? Was there one to the right, or was it only that one on the left? Yeah, there's oh, okay. one to the right. Let well me go grab... take a look at that first. Hi, bud. You done got shot! Bubble Jam. Cool. Nice find. That's all that's in here. So let's get the one on the right. Nope, nope, just lift. Nope, just lift with the right stick. Yep. There you go. You think one of it, one of them's good and one of them's a trap? I don't know. Bonk. Survey says. Oh, sand. I'll do something. Oh my god. <laughs> well, That's it gave me another mirror. Oh! They wanted you to use one to get this one and then use that. But now that you have this, this will... Yeah, this is perfect. Just carefully. Good job. This will be the greatest treasure of all. A shield. <laughs> a shield that protects you for four damage. A like-like. It is a like-like. You really love this weapon. I do. Oh, shoot. You gonna get zapped. Am I? Ah! Uh-huh. Oh. You did you did get a zap. Well, I'm in the room now. There's nothing it can do about that. <laughs> now I'm in the room. There you go. Hit it with your bouncy claymore. Bouncy Claymore is badly dead. It's a wonder it's alive at all. It's a sword stabbed into a plush animal. This will almost certainly be worth it. What you got for me? It's chest! From the makers of Box. A Gerudo shield! The design of this metal shield has changed over time to match the Gerudo sword and shield fighting style. It's favored by sh soldiers and travelers alike. Do we want this? I like how we have a mirror shield, but we <laughs> pulled one out of the zone because we're like, I don't know. Yeah, just ditch that. I don't, we can always make a new one. And this is the real treasure. A shield! Honestly, kind of preferred the shield to the topaz. That was a lot of trouble. It was. Like, it was fine. Like, the reward is fine. Can't carry any more of those. It's better than what I have. Is it? 
All oh, of your... it's a knight's bow. It's a 26. Okay, all of your bows are pretty good. You could get rid of a 24 then. Yeah. Is it the same? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have really good bows right now. I forgot that we got that Lionel bow. Mm -hmm. Lionel bow, good. Yeah, you got the Lionel bow. Bow. <laughs> Lionel bow. So there's stuff down there, probably. Eh. I mean, it's a pit, right? So like. It is a pit. I'm not. I'm not super invested in pit because they assume what's going to happen is you're going to fall in the thing and you're going to forget recall. Which you didn't. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna be down there and be like, oh no. And then you have to like slowly get your way back up. But instead, we just skipped all that nonsense. Because like, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is a large game. Correct. There are many things. You should probably break that in case there's more gems in it. You think so? Yeah. Well, let me take care of this friend. <laughs> Taken care of. Did my weapon break? I need. I, <laughs> I was wondering why you weren't just grabbing the the rock thing. It's like, aren't you gonna break the thing? Ah, salt. <sighs> Perfect. Fuck you. What is blowing up? Something's happening, but you know we don't have time for that nonsense. Now it's freezing cold. Now it's warm. We have things for this. Okay. Oh, wow. There she is. There's a Hydra Melon. Is there a second one? Yeah. Tulin, you just appear and terrify me. Found you! That's scary. Mm hmm. Ooh, I like her haircut. Missed again. Can't hit my mark. Won't do anyone any good. It's you. This changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. Riju, chief of the Gerudo. Do we know her? Then yes. Okay. You always show up in unusual times. Just making sure. That's so that's what's happened. zelda has gone. And then they messed up my sandwich at the Arby's. <laughs> So Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky, Zelda vanished right in front of you, and now you've come here looking for clues? Hmm. Link, I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to the problem we Gerudo are facing. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. It's sand hot. <laughs> That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. It appeared around the same time as the events at Hyrule Castle took place. It's been blanketed the whole desert, including our town. And not long after that, swarms of monsters we've never seen before began attacking. We're calling them Glibdos. Physical attacks don't work well against them. They're slow, but they still make investigating the sand shroud difficult. Were you watching just now? I've been practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I can aim the lightning well, I think it may be an effective weapon against the Glibdos. Gibdos, there's no L. Okay. Just FYI. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and still need more practice. I want to master this power so I can use it to defeat the Gibdos. If I can do that, we can investigate the source of the Sand Shroud and search for Zelda as well. Link, will you help me with my training? Absolutely not. Will you go stand over there next to the dummy? I think I can use your arrows to help me strike that... Aim my lightning strikes. Fire one on that dummy over there. You push shot her in the back of the head. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Now let's try something a little trickier. Hmm. 
Aim for those dummies all over there. Maybe we can hit them all with a single lightning strike. Here's an idea. Don't try to hit a specific dummy. Instead, aim for the area in the middle of all three, right around where that rock is jutting out. Oh, but keep in mind that the further away a target is from me, the longer it will take me to build up the energy to hit it. I think it needed to build up more, maybe. Like, it's only now. Yeah. Yes. I'm getting the hang of it now. The Gibdos don't stand a chance against this power. I can't thank you enough for your help, Link. Ominous glow. She's so cool. What was that? It didn't sound like any noise the sand shroud has made, that's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was... Chief! We've received word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking Karakara Bazaar. Biliara is already on her way there. She's already... Okay, understood. Thank you. Link, we need to head to Karakara Bazaar at once. I must ask for your help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. Do you remember Karakara Bazaar? That's the oasis northeast of Gerudo Town. Let's show those Gibdos what we're made of. <clears throat> I mean, there was all a right. treasure chest. There's right a treasure here. I just want to check the treasure chest. See if there's any sandwiches. God, okay. I we mean, don't... we can get rid of a 24. It, it's just a higher number. Uh, we will have to wait to go to the next um, place because yep. we're out of time. But next time we'll go back to the bazaar. So truly, the bazaar is still ahead. The bar bazaar is still always ahead. still ahead. I love that. Mm -hmm. Save game. You do. Saving. Excellent. Thank you for saving the <clears> game. <throat> Okay. Yeah. All right. Hero's path. God. Hero's path. Fossix. You are so great. <laughs> to I don't do that. think we can do it. Just we can't do it. Well, anyway, <laughs> anyway, I. Guess we'll have to wait another week. Oh, 1600 bits from D. Bradwell. So surprise! Surprise. Listen, next week, just, you know, you just have to remember. Yep. Do Fossix know? Do Fossix, Fossix remember? has a. Um, so uh, Fossix remembers where. Jazz alert. Okay. Starts at the Dragon Tier just west of Lake Hylia. So we know exactly where to go, uh -huh. and yeah. we'll do it next week, and it'll be so long. Mm hmm. So long. Uh, we had 16 months from Ray Glade. And 300 bits from D. Bradwell says, uh, When will Steven ever learn? Hashtag trust Mao is the way 90% of the time. By the way, Steven, could you take a sip of your drink? Make it a slow one, please and thank you. Distrust. <laughs> Lots of distrust. Hey, could you drink for me? Just want to make sure you're hydrated. Could you drink? Nothing bad will happen. 
Just drank. Also 1600 from D. Bradwell says, to unleash during the sip, please. During the sip is my favorite period of uh, human history. I want to tell, if, oh, actually I can do better than this. Let me tell you about the time that I went over. And, and if you don't believe me, well, that's your fault. Cause I just grabbed the ball and that's you wouldn't believe what I just saw. It was the size. And it farted it. And I killed it. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. And then we made love. All right. That was 9,500 bits from Will Peters. Who said, sing about what happened. That was your best song. I think so. I think so. Think about what happened, but do as if the microphone is cutting in and out as you sing. There was not enough time for me to even read that. Yeah. <laughs> the song starts and like, there's more than like three words. Yeah, Nat says, poor Mel was the only one who heard it. It was the best song he's ever done. My favorite part was that I did the watermelon part mm -hmm. with it unmuted. Yeah. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. <laughs> It's 9,500 bits from Will Peters. Will Peters, thank you. I'm glad that I remembered that I just have a button. That's that's better. That's like, ah, I just do that. Okay, so anyway. Um, <clears throat> Let me tell you about a thing. Tell you about a thing that's gonna happen. The thing that's going to happen... What is tomorrow? Tomorrow Saturday. Ah, tomorrow. Tomorrow continues Jackbox uh, with Stephen and Friends. It's a good one. It's a really good one. It's a fun little trivia game. And it had some video game related stuff in it also. So that is tomorrow at noon. So check that out. I'm sure I will also be releasing... Um, Vods, because there's so many vods. There's so many bard bards. There's so many bards. Am I streaming tomorrow? I'm definitely streaming Sunday. Yeah, Mal's definitely definitely streaming Sunday. Maybe tomorrow, but probably I don't know. We have things going on in the afternoon. Yeah. So we're getting together with folks and like watching a movie and making eggs. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I think I think that's it. I think that's it too. I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else to announce. Uh, so let me s find a place to send you. Look at all these folks. I'm gonna send y'all to Massey. I don't get to. No one wants to know how you're making your eggs. Correctly. Uh, Cheese hammer gifted a sub to watermelon love. <laughs> watermelon love. What's our raid message? A lot of my friends Earthbound, that's real stuff. Distrust. Sand Seal Statue Shield. Sand Seal Statue Shield, real good. Cause yeah. also Masay will probably get that. Yeah. Like it like she'll have to slowly put it together and be like, oh. I'm down for Sand Seal Statue Shield. Yeah, Sand Sand Seal Statue Shield. Raid, Massey, Anella. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Turn. There we go. I've done it. Uh, th yeah, this is, this is, that's it. Enjoy the Stephen Friends tomorrow. Uh, probably have some vlogs out this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, if you never saw the Patreon video, Patreon video came out and is very good. It's got some big info in it, so check that out. And uh, that's it. I'll probably stream Sunday. That's I mean, I'll be streaming Sunday, for sure. Like, you're definitely streaming Sunday. Yeah. And until then, go tell Masay, Sand Seal Statue Shield. Raid, go! Do you have it pulled up? Yes. Okay, cool. I do have it pulled up. 
It's warm in here now. There's a lot of gliders behind us. Oh, John is here. It's raid time. Welcome, Raiders. Hi, Steven. Thank you for the raid. You are welcome. I hope you are enjoying the Fortnite. Hello. We are gaming today. We are so gaming. We are doing a game. It is Fortnite with me and Laughing Boy LB and Proton John. Welcome. So it's here for a little bit longer than before I leave. It's fun times. It's chaos. This is the original Fortnite, as opposed to... Lego Fortnite. Uh, as, as opposed Fortnite to the, racing. the two Fortnites that they announced... <sighs> during the... During the Game Awards. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm scrubbing through and it's like... Fortnite. Fortnite. And I was like... What? They just, they just keep making them. Mm -hmm. the Lego, yeah. Fortnite, Lego, and Fortnite Rocket League. I'm sure you did, Noah. And I'm like, okay. Anyway, um, okay. That's it. That's it? You gotta get up early-ish. Yeah. I mean, I don't have to, but I want to. Yeah, I do. I want to I wanna make breakfast. Mm -hmm. And I want to... I, I'm thinking about maybe getting a donut. So, yeah. Yeah. It, it, is it, does it qualify as super brekkie? It'll be pretty close. We have hash browns. We do have hash browns. Yeah, I think I think it'll be a bona fide super brekkie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Probably won't be a Monte Cristo. Don't don't set your your hopes too high, Haley. Uh, Y'all have a good weekend. Make sure you do something for yourselves. We're having super brekkie. We're having super brekkie, and uh, Mal will see you on Sunday yep. at a time. Yeah. Afternoon? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Uh, see you then.